<laughs> oh shit! All right, right guys, we are live. <laughs> Jay has got me cracking up already, so <laughs> I'm in a giggly mood today. Um, yeah, we are live. This is episode 18 of the Super Awesome Vape Show, and I know uh, we are supposed to have a guest on very soon. Um, but he is currently stuck in traffic, so we will be joined uh, soon by Tommy from Vape Finder, and uh, we'll have a lot of fun. You guys can get to ask him questions and all that good stuff. And we will be doing a giveaway or possibly more than one giveaway today if we get over 200 live viewers. So make sure you share the stream. Share it out to everyone. Make sure you just post in all your groups and on all your different various social media outlets. Um, we will be doing giveaways today if we Yay. can get over 200 viewers. Giveaways. Yay. If, if, you, if you guys don't get kicked out of at least one vaping group today, you haven't done a good enough job. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to just quickly... Uh, oh, other thing is we are down a member tonight. Chris is out with uh, his family. They're having dinner and stuff. So... He will be joining us later on for the after show, which is to be announced. But after that, um, yeah, that's when Chris will be coming in. Uh, but I'm just going to put it around the room here real quick, and everyone's going to say what they're vaping on. Wait, um, Yeah, we'll just do what we're vaping on right now, and I'll go last. All right, we're going to start off with Vinny. I wasn't prepared for that. I just assumed it was going to be someone else. What is up, guys? So today I am on the... I believe it's called the Simple from V Zone. It's a uh, it's a new squonk kit, all honey coloured. Uh, I've got that going. I have the what is the what, Vapresso switcher with the Kalito, and I am vaping the Max VG Liquid Gold in there. And also I've got a monster. That's all for me. That's all from me. Thank you guys. You can so stop presenting me now. You're your replacement, Chris, tonight then. I mean, to be honest, I, I need one. So I've not been able to sleep this lately. So I'm just so tired throughout the day. But you didn't match it with your hat and your uh, little. No, I should. I should have got. I should have got. The I green know, that was shit, there, right? <laughs> and the chair and the little razor logo. But I should have got the green one. <laughs> you match the stabilized piss with your golden juice that you're vaping it on. Yeah, that's right. No, I've got. I've got apple in this. I've got oh. some them apples from Coil Glaze. Of uh, yeah. apples. Squank it. Them apples. These nuts. Oh my god! All right, you're ending. You're getting your presentation ended here, Mike. What's up, everyone? <laughs> uh, I got me. Um, what is it? Ali Mongrel. God, <laughs> can't forget oh, that one. He's, he's going. Oh, no. Fuck it. See now. Hey, someone oh, no. call a doctor. It's old age. Get the white coats out. On that, I have got some golden cookies, which is different. Uh, then I've got the Blood Axe with the Bonza. And in that, I have got Badass Blends Lemon Tart, Loco Lemon Tart. And then I've got the Depth Charge with the Dead Rabbit on. And in that, I have got some Tickled Pink, which is like an Umbungo type flavor. <laughs> and then I've also got my um, trusted Asmodus regulated Oof. thingy majiggy with 1. the 5. Kensei tank on it. And in that, I have got the Blow Elixir's Black Widow, which is Hall's Menthol, black current flavor. So, yeah, that's me tonight. Uh, I muted myself. All right. <laughs> <Jay>! <laughs> So Vinny's got a new camera angel by the looks of it. Does <laughs> <laughs> someone tell him if the angel's nice? Uh, I'm dyslexic, you are. So. <laughs> Sorry, Do you know what? Jay. I don't even know if I am dyslexic. I've done a test and apparently I was, but they uh, could just be saying I'm thick. <laughs> bro, I do tests like this all the time. I always tell me I'm stupid. Don't worry about that. So, yes, tonight, I. some people say it might have been a long time, but... I call it ages. Yee! I've got one of these. Literally just got it. New setup. Thought I'd treat myself. So I've got the ages with the TFV 12 on top with a fat boy. And that is the... I can't remember what coil. But anyway. And I've got Air Factory or Treat Factory. Uh, 
cookie dough in there. Yes, that's the one. And that's all I've got on me. I've been very ill. For you that was on the show last week, if you see me, I was very ill. Like, so that black and white thing wasn't actually a piss take. It was actually for real. But I wasn't begging for money or nothing. Anyway, <laughs> I've literally just got better all of a sudden in the last, like, hour or so. I, my wife made me a nice shepherd's pie with some nice root vegetables and that. And I was like, yes. Munched it all down. Woohoo! I'm now feeling better. What meat was it in the shepherd's pie? Um, it was fucking meat. <laughs> well, I'm saying if if it's if it's lamb, then yeah, it's a shepherd's pie. But oh, right, it lamb, was a fucking cottage pie. pie then. <laughs> oh god! All right, I'm taking this over. It's my turn. Cheers. All right. Um, <laughs> anyway, thanks, guys. Cheers. <laughs> All right. So I have several setups tonight, as usual. I'll get through them as quickly as possible. Okay, we've got the Luxotic box with the Dead Rabbit on top, the SQ single coil version, which is awesome. I'm really liking that. In there, I've got Bluebird E-Liquid. Bluebird, one of my favorites. Uh, I've got the Snow Wolf X-Fang with the Bravo tank on top. You'll be seeing this. I'll, I'll actually be unboxing this tomorrow in my vlog because I record my vlogs on Saturdays and yeah, so it's all sorts of uh, weird in there. I've got some uh, What is it devil's punch bowl devil's punch bowl from uh, Cali vapors? I've got the Cool fire ultra with the zenith or zenith tank on top Zenith, well, zenith whatever the mouth to lung from Inakin. And in there, I've got oh, dropping mods. <laughs> Coming program. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got some uh, sweet emotion from Addy Boy. I've got uh, the old school tugboat V2 with the original Dead Rabbit and Butcher Cap on top, the side on airflow cap. And in there, I've got some. Sunshine from Mayhem Vapor. Uh, what else do I have? Um, and then for this little guy here, I've got this one, a uh, pocket pocket box by Inakin, with some five milligram Mr. Salty Grappleberry. Um, I've been testing that stuff out for a while now, and it's pretty good. It's different, you know. It's it's just something a little bit different. Um, pod systems. I've got the Miley, which I refilled. And I've got to jewel as usual. All right. So with that being said, like I said earlier, we will be joined very soon by Tom from Vape Finder. Uh, we will be doing some giveaways later if we can get over 200 viewers. So share that link as much as you possibly can. Smash your keyboards and your, your mi mice, mouses, mice, whatever. Meese. <laughs> Meese. Yeah. And uh, let's get up to 200 here, and we'll get going with some giveaways in a little bit. But until then, it's time for the usual banter and mayhem. And I'll open it up to the chat, and we'll see what everyone else is vaping on and anything else you guys want to talk about. So I'm going to just end my presentation, and you guys can take it away. <laughs> 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 well well so done. One well, thing I forgot to say, every single one of the mechs I'm using today are actually British made as well. I thought you were going to say it was freshly polished earlier. <laughs> no, two of them. Jay, you know they're always freshly polished. I can't go a day without polishing my shaft. I'm sorry. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> we can't even go 10 minutes without a dick joke. <laughs> what? Well what are you going on about, Nick? <laughs> That's a typical American in you, that is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was I gonna say? How, how many have we got so far? Uh, we're up to ninety so far, so we're halfway there, almost halfway there already. Do you know what? I've got to ask you, Nick, how you're actually. If we get over to hundred views, how you're gonna do the giveaway? Because uh, for my show tomorrow, I've actually got it sponsored now. Um, so I need to know how to do a giveaway one on live stream, and I don't want to sit there just copy and pasting people's names. And I don't know if there's a way you can do it. Um, yeah. I think you can do it through Nightbot. I'm not hundred percent yeah. sure. Yeah, Nightbot. But, um, you can do it. I'm just going to do it real quick. I'm going to test it real quick in chat and see if it works. Uh, let's see. How do you do it? I think it's this. There's like a list of commands you can do. 
Okay. I'm going to see if it works. This does not count at all. You, because we not reached 200 views yet. <laughs> no, it doesn't doesn't do anything. It says winner. Do... Yeah, I know, but it's supposed to be a command. How the hell do you get that to work? Is it, it says... the exclamation mark or is it not? Wait, I won. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you would. I uh, <laughs> I want whatever you're giving away. I'm being serious. I was I'm gonna I'm gonna dislike this video and unsubscribe. Oh yeah, look, it. it done it. It did it. Yeah. What does it say? It says oh, Nightbot, and the winner is uh, Vapor <laughs> the Oh, no. no really, it's the Vapor the Lock. Piss off. Right. <laughs> so, uh, I've what's just up, got... Adam? Adam Sisson, hello. That's I've how just we got go. a question from Sam Kassoon. K yeah, uh, how do you pronounce that? Kassoon? I don't know. to pronounce it. Where are we looking? He's asking what I use to polish my mechs. There you go. <laughs> That's a valid question, all right? Hey, why jelly in a hand? Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> oh, God. Let me kill the light. Let me kill the light. See if yeah. that's a better image. There you go. Cape Cod. Jewelry polishing cloths. Get it on Amazon what? for about £16 for a tin. It is actually amazing. That and lasts forever. No, if, seriously, it's amazing. If my uh, mods haven't been cleaned for a while... I the old school T cut. I'd actually love to win a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> I would. <laughs> Do you know how much tractors are? <clears throat> Mustafa said, "I win Pandora Blue in camo." Yes, fucking please. Oh, now you've just turned him all creepy, Mustafa. <laughs> <laughs> Not that he I've, wasn't. I've, I've just got to put the privacy window down on my webcam. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> hey, Mike is trying to make a point here. Mike, Sorry. hold up what you just <laughs> held up there, because no one saw it, because Vinny was yapping. Teacup. Yeah, it's just the old car polish teacup. Okay. Give a, good, give a good coating of that on the um, copper or brass first. Buff it off, and then go over it again with your Cape Cods, and it brings it up gleaming like a new tube. Don't you have to like be careful with that because that's actually got a cutting compound in it, hasn't it? It has got a cutting compound in it, yes, but it's uh, about a five thousand grit cutting compound. Oh, okay. I mean, use it sparingly. Don't do yeah. that every single day, obviously. Oh, but, God, no. You know, no, 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 no. If yeah, it's no, no. really, really dirty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and so, I personally, I wouldn't use the T cut on the threads either. Oh yeah. So uh, that's why I go with Cerakoted mods because. It's just easier to not polish. But then they get oh. all dinged up and scratched. And, eh. and look ugly when the fucking Cerakote comes off. Yeah, I know. It's starting. But this, this thing's old, man. This thing is definitely three years old almost at this point. But it still works. Yep. Yeah, nice. Kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> uh, right, fellas, what's up? Uh, it's also accounts. What was I looking at? What was I looking at? I uh, I can't remember. Anyway, Peter, Chris is uh, out eating food. What's up, David? The Salford Vapor. How you doing, dude? What's up, David. What's up, man? Yeah. Chris is out for a birthday meal with his um, parents and that tonight. Uh, what is it? Him. Is it his birthday meal? Yes. Selfish sod. He's got one next year. One ball on a Sunday next year. He's hitting the big 3 0. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he's turning 40, isn't he? <laughs> oh, he's going to slap you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I would be scared of getting slapped by Chris, actually, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, if he can take the. Well, I'm not even going to say it. No, it's too early in the show to do Just this. fucking say it. No. Peer pressure him. Come on, guys. Peer pressure him. Say it. Fine. I was going to say, if he could. You're not take, doing fucking help. If he could take the pain of uh, a monster can, then he would probably <laughs> be pretty vicious in the fight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Jesus Christ. Let's just restart the show because. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We uh, I have a uh, thing here. It says Michael Harden says, "Can you give my son a shout out? He's six. You gave my daughter one last week and embarrassed her. My kids are what made me start vaping. I love them to death." Yes. Um, what's your your son's uh, name there, Michael Harden? I, I'll give him a shout out. Sure. <laughs> and I gave your daughter a shout out. That's awesome. <laughs> just over squonked and it dripped on me. You got to be careful when you're squonking there, Vinny. Just got excited. Could get leaking out the side 
All that yes. honey everywhere. Are, I am looking better than looking last honey, week. Mate. All right, That's big shout he's... out to you, Austin. You have been shouted out. <laughs> Shouting out Nick. six-year-olds. Nick, can I get a shout out, please? <laughs> big shout out to you, Vinny. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, Jay. Yours is coming. Nice one. <laughs> I'm just uh, uh, where Did you get it? my email, Nick? Yeah. I got it for shits and giggles, bro. Oh, I got it. Um, Bill Byron, I know, yeah. Siren Mike. I love it. How's it sound? I hope it sounds good. Yeah, the mic sounds all right. I'm liking it. Thank you, Jay. Just to answer James Franklin, get yourself some flat wire Flapton NI80. Can't go wrong with that wire. Simple to use, and uh, you get some decent flavor off of it as well. Mm. Mustafa, I've not I've not seen the collaboration with uh, Nasty Juice and Kilo E Liquids. Um, I've, I've not seen it. What what are they like? What kind of collab are they doing? Is it, well, is they, it uh, with, with Kulada by chance? <laughs> well, Kilo, mm, yeah, Ca what is that? California, right? I don't know. I only saw them yeah. at Bait Jam in April last and year. And obviously, Nasty, where Malaysia, it's got to have some sort of Kulada in there. A big oh. shout out to James McDonough as well. You have been shouted out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like pointing at the camera. Um, I don't, I, I don't follow them on Instagram and stuff. Or, but um, yeah, someone I'll give it a check. Fucking, yeah, someone tell me what the collaboration is. God's sake! What are, you, what are you talking about? Uh, apparently, Nasty Juice and Kilo E Liquids have collaborated together on a on an e juice. All right, I'm actually starting to see more and more. Um, UK companies coming over here because I saw, I mean, obviously Dinner Lady and I think I saw Nasty Juice at one of the booths in uh, St. Louis. Yes, we're oh, just still waiting for an American company to come over here. Yeah. Uh, I know, I know. I'm working on it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, I was just about to say, no, it's okay. We already have a, oh, what is that? Pip. What juice does she make, Pip? Suicide Bunny. Suicide. Yeah, we already got Suicide Bunny, so we don't need anyone else. Oh, yeah, that's it. The one and only. Did you? I watched her stream the other night. I love her. She is so cool, man. She's she so wicked, cool, man. You know, she, she um she gave me a hug and that, and then I looked over and her husband was right there. I was like, oh fuck, run away. <laughs> she actually gave me a hex arm to do a giveaway with. Are you serious? Oh yeah, wow. I've done a giveaway when I reached two and a half thousand people, two and a half thousand members, I think. But yeah, it was a mother's milk one. Ice. I. S I don't, Bill Byron, I don't have it mounted backwards in the the little, where is it? This emblem is meant to face the camera. Um, yeah, it's not backwards. It's it's done, Razor have done that because they want to promote their logo as much as possible. So I can turn this little light off if I don't want it on, but it's green, so I thought, why not? So Vinny now okay. sponsored by Razor. Yeah, Maybe. That, that's why he's got no beard. Yeah, I've actually got... They gave me a little bag, bag as well. They gave me a little uh, messenger bag for my laptop. Just wait. He's got Razer headphones coming in next week. <laughs> I might. I might, but then I only use my headphones for this show so or my show tomorrow night, but there's no point. I'm not spending that much money on it. It won't be too long before Vin is sponsored by British DPM. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure enough. it's a fucking tractor joke. <laughs> what? No, you, you wear enough of it. Oh, what, camouflage? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I should just join the army and just get that shit for free. It's okay, Vinny. I didn't know what it was, neither. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cat Hales asks, uh, heading to Vegas in a few weeks, want to stock up on non-TPD juice. What is the best US juice brand not in the UK other than Blaz? Oh, that's nice. That's... I think we found our giveaway winner. <laughs> that's a really tough... Oh, um, because I mean, if you're looking to stock up for your own personal use, or or would it be for a shop? Because there's, you know, the highest selling e liquids are not necessarily the best e liquids, you know. So that's kind no. of a tough call. Um, I think we all know which ones sell and you know which ones are actually good flavors. I mean, especially I, I would say Jay and I would probably be the best two to ask for that. Don't know, no, no, not Candy King. No, 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 no Candy King. Okay, no. <laughs> um, best e juice brand that's not in the UK. Hmm. 
It's not in the UK. Yeah, I know, because there's a bunch of them that are in the UK. Just not everywhere, obviously, you know. But what do you mean by not in the UK? They're not out in the UK. Yeah, yeah, like not available yet in the UK. Oh, wow. Well, I know Tony B's juice is only available in one place at the moment, isn't it? In the UK. Oh, what's that? The Sugar Lips one. Yeah, yeah Sugar Lips is only That's from, from uh, Signature Tips. Yeah. Oh, they, they're uh, distributing it. it. Um, I, was, I thought I was going to say Custom Tips. I knew it was something. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Bluebird is pretty damn good, but it, I... I'm actually quite confused now. Tell me the question again. Okay. So, <laughs> okay, okay. What, what is the best <laughs> e-liquid brand, US e-liquid brand, that's not yet over in the UK? Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I ain't gonna know. I ain't gonna really know that, but. Well, exactly. Uh, uh, we got Grim Green's Yig. Um, I don't know. I heard the Nike 100 Salts is meant to be good. Uh, Grim oh, Green. yeah, I would just stock up on fucking Nick salts, like 50 milligram Nick salts. That's what I would stock up on. But now we've got loads <laughs> of people coming out of it. You've got Zap coming out with the Nick salts. You've got someone else. I think I've heard it in the Great Run. I'm not 100% sure. But some other juice company is meant to be making pods for the Mini Gusto. Whether that's going to pull through or not, I don't know. What, in 20 milligram? Yeah, it's going to be obviously TPD compliant. Right. Yeah, honestly, I, I would just stock up on non like, o, like over 20 milligrams of nicotine. Well, I can get I'm loads doing. of it. I can get it. If you want it, I can get it. Pure. Vinny, you druggy. <laughs> what am I druggy? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> no, he's a pusher, all right? He's a pusher. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, if you manage to get something like 50 milligram Nick Souls, I will buy them off of you. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, I can actually, I got to use Nightbot more. I can do something here. I'll put it in chat. Let's see. What about Balsonic? Our... Yes, dude, Balsonic, if you can bring me a jewel with a shitload of pods, man, I would love you forever. You're not the only one. All right, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Invalid parameter specify whatever. Um, I don't know, man. Band. What's the, what's the best e liquid company that's not over there? Um, well, it's not, if it's not over, it ain't the best. Oh, well, I'm not being funny. Like this is probably what this is probably the second biggest market in the the whole of the world. Like the UK, you know, I think it's bigger than Europe. Like. Okay, yeah, you guys wise. have your juice lines, we have our juice lines. No, but what I'm saying is, like, if it's not over here, yeah, I get what you're saying. I'm not trying to be pedantic or funny about it, but what I'm saying is, if it's worth having, then it'd be here. Uh, Balsonic, I, ju I just need a jewel. <laughs> I just need a jewel. I haven't got one. Um, there is another question in chat um, from Michelle Compton. She wants to know if there's any, any, anyone that comes to mind for a big, like, sorry, a female UK vape reviewer. Uh, she asked me in Messenger today, and it, I, I couldn't think. The only ones I could think of was Tia Vape, obviously none in the UK, but Tia Vapes, Zofi Vapes, um, and uh, Ruby Roo. They're the only ones I could think of, but not anyone in the UK, if anyone else knows. Mm, you got, what's her name? Oh, what's that? The Lady Vapor. Who? We need more, in my opinion. We do. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. I think. Especially with how saturated the reviewing scene is becoming, especially in the UK, there's there's very few women that do it. I think the Sav should promote and get and help someone, a, a lady, a woman, to become a vape, a vape reviewer. And I then, think Michelle Compton said she was going to think about doing it. So, you know, we've got her there if you want. Uh, I mean... That's that's like what we've been doing lately, especially on the after show. Like we've just been pushing super hard for like you know, other, you yeah, know, other people, our guests, and like everybody to like really get it out there to um, you know help the them out. Basically, we got, we got Demo up to a thousand. We got Chris up to seventy five hundred. Um, we got a couple people over a hundred subs or two hundred subs and. You know, I, I really like the idea of basically being like uh, a promoter kind of base for. Yeah, I think we should. I think we should do that. We should run a competition for that. Whoever, <laughs> whoever does it, a female that wants to be serious about it, like we could probably all chip something in to help them get a setup or something along the lines buy, of buy them a doing it or something. You know. Yeah, a mic, a cheap mic, a webcam or something. You know, I think, and I think like with the support of us and you know. I think they'll smash it. I think we should do it. 
Because I, um, I love the fact, do you know, I love the fact about this year. We do our show, and we, our show's our show, and we do it. We have guests on, whatever. But the after show, I love the fact that, like, we can promote other people that are, like, need, not need it, but uh, that deserve the exposure that they don't get. You yeah. know, they work really fucking hard. They do, like, untold stuff, and they, they've got the knowledge, but it's very difficult to make an imprint in the industry and... And you know, like that. So I think we should do it. We get a female person that wants to do it, run a competition, and we'll back them and help them get set off. And obviously, Tommy's going to make him an honorary member of the Vape Finder reviewers. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> let's just let's present Tommy to everyone here. Welcome, Tommy. How's it going? What's well, good? How we doing, everybody? You look great in your luxurious palatial pad there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I had a bit of a clean round today, but it's uh, it's got the West Ham scarf on the wall. That sort of. Oh matters. my god! So much <laughs> shit. <laughs> you know, how did I know it was de gonna degrade this quickly? Um, so yeah, welcome, Tom. Um, Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me on. Just for those people out there that may not know who you are, and you know anyone that's curious about you, just uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and tell us what you're vaping on. Okay, so I'm Tommy. Uh, I do the Vape Finder app. I've been doing it for uh, two and a half, three years now. Um, so it's the number one vape app to help you find a vape shop near you. Um, also the organizer of the London Vape Show. Uh, the first one that we had where we had you guys there um, as our Vape Finder reviewers uh, last August. And our next one that we've just announced our dates for um in august 25th 26th of this year um also we do bear flavors bear flavors is our juice range so plug plug <laughs> plug away I, I made you a moderator in the uh, chat so yeah no we do uh the bear flavors juice so part of my job i'm getting bear flavor stuff done part of my job i'm updating the app uh, with new vape shops and then also we are planning now, so a large chunk of this year is going to be taken, um, just trying to get um, great exhibitors uh, to the London Vape Show and uh, to get as many of you guys there as possible. Um, and, yeah, what am I vaping on? Okay, so the captain uh, picked this up from my boy Paul at uh, Vapor Rooms, got the captain there, and then Recall Rebel, straight up on there i have not like my build is ugly and disgusting right now i have not had time to re-wick today i've been with my lovely girlfriend who is visiting from dubai so we were uh, on a road trip today and i just got back so apologies for being late um yeah juice um i have been on sun from bear flavors the majority of the day but i just ran out so i am now from glass vapor i got the buttercream blueberry cake which is pretty banging. Although I hate short fills. I'm just going to say it. I'm a TPD, you know, 10 mil guy. If that's so well, I prefer not to be in 10 mil bottles, but I prefer not to be mixing my nick myself because I'm just too lazy. That's me done. Let me just unmute myself and stop you presenting. There we go. Ah, all right. <clears throat> well, welcome, Tom. Uh, thank you for joining us. And no uh, I'm sure we'll, we're going to get a lot of questions in chat tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, and I explained that if we can get over 200 viewers tonight, then we will be doing some giveaways. Um, I believe you you had uh, put up some stuff that you were willing to give away. It's probably some. <laughs> Vape finder swag and maybe some bear flavors. Yep. All right. So Definitely. if we get if we we start getting pretty close, then we'll make more announcements. But you guys got to do some work out there and chat. You got to make sure you share that link, hit that share mm. button, get it yep. out there. And remember what I said: if you do not get banned from at least one vape group on Facebook today, you haven't shared it enough. Haven't done your job. <laughs> get her done. Be um, respectful, though. <laughs> Am I on mute right now, or are we are we all like uh, can everyone... no? You are live, man. We are cool. broadcasting to a hundred people right now. Yeah, we will be uh, giving away. I've got some free juice to give away. Um, we've got some of our short mill range, and we've got some of our TPD range. We'll be giving away. 
I've got Vape Finder t-shirts, and I also have free tickets to the London Vape Show. And uh, we'll just see how it all pans out, Nick. But as many as we need, we'll keep rolling with it. And uh, if any winners are from the United States, um, obviously they wouldn't be eligible. I mean, more than likely to to accept uh, London Vape sh uh, London Vape Show tickets. Yep. But we will we'll we'll work something out, and uh, we'll we'll make sure everyone's compensated and whatnot. Nick, I, I can send you a, a care package with some t-shirts and juice for you to distribute for any yes. U.S. winners if you want to do it that way, whatever we can, works out easy. We could do best. that, and I'll PayPal you the shipping and whatnot. So. Uh, we'll, we'll, I think we'll be able to sort that out, Nick. But, um, yeah, U.S. people get involved as well. Yes. So there we go. Um, yeah. So let's see. What, what what were we talking about before? I'll tell you. I'll fuck you lot. Anyway, Tom, <laughs> have a doing, mate. All right? <laughs> um, Tom, there's a question for you in chat, dude. And hello, how you doing, man? It's from Roy's okay. Reviews. He wants to know how he can apply to become a vape finder reviewer. Well, we're pretty um the vape finder review things. I get asked this every now and again by people. Um, but I am like a you know, the vape finder thing is a, a big family thing. Um I had you guys down to the show because you guys all um I've worked with you for, for quite a while and I've known you. Um, new reviewers that want to be featured in the app. Um, I'm always happy to take a look at people's reviews and include them. It's like a, you know, I'm trying to put information to vapors in the app to get them just the best information on, on, you know, the newest products. Um, if you want to, if anyone, any reviewers out there, Roy, yourself included, uh, want to just send me an email to Tom at vapefinder.com. Just shoot me a couple links to some of your reviews. Um, you know, usually what I do is I'll just send you a, a Vape Finder logo and say if you want to include that in your review somewhere, I will host yours in the app. Roy, if you would like to come down and be part of our reviewers section, um, you know, uh, at London Vape Show, basically I'll touch on this more, but, you know, I'm trying to have, a, you know, a, a good quality, but as, as many people down there just helping out maybe new people to vaping when we're at our show. Um, obviously I can't have everyone involved, but, uh, because it might get a little bit ridiculous, but I'm always open to, to chat to new reviewers. So drop me the email, Tom at vapefinder.com and, uh, we'll go from there. Here's an idea for you, Tom, maybe yeah. like, you know, we have our core group of the vape finder reviewers, like the, the our reviewer moderators, right? So, <laughs> we yes, can, I'm a moderator. <laughs> moderator. Uh, we could have we could have the core group, and then we could also have like the up and coming people. If that makes any sense, sure. like like an up and coming kind of reviewer thing, where yeah, like a, a different reviewer gets featured every week. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a part of Vape Finder, Ooh. so Do you know what, Nick, you are a part of Vape Finder. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, Look, you know. Basically, um, you guys have been um, been awesome. The fact that we got I brought you guys together um, for the London Vape Show of last year, which I think is a really cool story of how that all materialized. But um, I brought all you guys together, and you guys have, have gone on and you're doing things with Super Awesome Vape Show. I love it when 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 we uh, when you guys got that story, and I found out I was like, this is brilliant because uh, I love all you guys. Um, so. You know, we're we're pretty close knit, and um, I'm always happy to work with new reviewers. But uh, maybe it's something where you know, if the reviewers get a hold of me, I don't. I know sometimes there's aggro in in the reviewing scene, and um, you know, uh, sometimes some people fall out with, and then that person is just like, "Yo, your mom's a bitch." So, uh, <laughs> so I don't. Or you know, me personally, like I. I'm I'm pretty um <laughs> what's up, Josh? You're on the uh, middle I'm ground. I'm pretty cool and pretty easy going. I'm I'm neutral man because I'm not I'm not going to yeah. start you know. I respect everyone in any capacity is spending a lot of time um, doing what you do you know and I respect it. So I don't try and get involved in the spats. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll have you guys as my panel and if we want new new reviewers on board there we can we can all come to a you know. A, uh, an agreement or we'll have a vote we'll take a vote reviewing the reviewers yeah. fuck that that's too much responsibility just about manage himself is that, you know what I mean? <laughs> i'll just accept everyone i'll feel bad saying no i'll be like yeah 100 yeah, no, this, this, 
this is, I mean, Vinny, why do you think I let you in, mate? Um... <laughs> <laughs> that day I called you and you said one of my re- reviews will be on the app. I was like, really? The fuck? Listen, the way it, the way it, um, it goes is like, I'm try. I put out this app for Vapors. I run that app for free for a year. Um, you know, just literally doing it and working part time, doing other stuff. Um, and eventually I just, I started picking reviewers that I favored that I thought, you know what, these guys are good guys and whatever. And I let people know, do you know what, I'm going to put some of your reviews in the app. If more people check you out from there, then that's, that's all love. But, um, I obviously had some reviewers along the way that, you know, sort of like we dropped off with or, you know, there was less communication. And then some of you I grew like grew to be my mates and I and I really, you know, uh, got on well with you. And those are the reviewers that I've stayed tight with. But here or there I do see a good review from from someone and I'll be like, you know what? Like that's a good product, it's a good review, I'll, I'll, I'll put it in there. But those are more like few and far between. You know, I like working with the boys. I got you. Yeah, man. Once you Josh, play so- once you play beer pong. You got a split of <laughs> friends forever, mate. <laughs> he fucking makes the rules up as he goes along. Yeah, uh, if anyone's Yo, playing beer pong that think they know the rules, trust me, Tom will just mind fuck you with his rules. He'll just uh, say, "Oh, this is how they do it in America." And because, and, and because you're losing, you're off cut anyway, mate. This doesn't. That's it. You just got no fucking chance. Right. <laughs> right. It was either that or sit on the couch and watch Sir Vapen a lot videos. Like, what's I supposed to do, bro? I didn't even fucking put them on, though. I didn't even put them on. That's just it. So, <laughs> what's up, guys? Sir Vapen out here. Say hi. Come say hi. <laughs> say hi to Josh, guys. Hi, Josh. Josh! 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 What's going what's on? Josh? What's right. up, man? Get one of these. Hello. Josh is here. We're very close, as you can see. One love, Josh. Josh. Okay, you good? <laughs> yeah, man. They're they're, hey. they're good. We're all tuned in. Chris isn't here tonight. He's oh. um, he's turned thirty. Mm. <laughs> Congratulations, Chris! Or as I heard Vinny mention earlier, is it forty? I mean, <laughs> uh, yeah. So you are no, so gonna he's, get he's actually sweat. younger than me. He's actually younger than me. No, he's not. He's, he's younger than me. He's, wait a minute. He turns twenty-seven today. No, it's t- he actually turns twenty-eight on Tuesday. Oh, oh okay. So no, he's not. Look at Mike. Look at Mike with the stats. I thought some fucking the big stalker. Trio. I was listening. I was about to say, look at Mike being a stalker. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Facebook's for, kids. <laughs> um, I'm thirty. I just turned thirty-two, so I'm older than all you bitches. You ain't older than me. You ain't older than me. Oh, oh well, <laughs> I'm I'm older than half you bitches. <laughs> oh well. Um, well I'm, 40, I'm forty-one in a couple of weeks. Okay, we look great for your age. Retract that statement. <laughs> You'll notice on the thumbnail, I made their beards a little bit grayer. Josh, oh. I'm a fucking bad liar. <laughs> yeah, you did make Joe's look like a badger. I tried, I tried. <laughs> no, just made me look like a fuck. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Let's move on from that. Um, <laughs> vape, his vape shop in the Vape Finder app. Yes, I was going to mention that. Macavape's shop is not listed on the Vape Finder app. We need to get that information. Okay, well, um, basically... If it's um, vape shops at the moment, we just do. I can give you guys a link. I can put it in the group. Uh, <laughs> but we t- um, we literally just have one a one once a year just registration fee, which is just as long as you fill out your information and pay that. That just it's thirty six quid keeps you in the app for the year. Um, it's just literally an admin fee, um, and then we will take uh, all your information, send over your logos, and uh, we'll get you in there. What so about we'll multiple shops? Multiple shops, um, it really depends because, I mean, we get so many different variances of that. Um, but usually it's it's 36 quid for the listing just per shop. Oh, um, my God. I don't think my boss is going to go with that. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it. <laughs> We've got it, 17 it's like, shops. It's like covering oh Essex God. and London. Oh, but, yeah. But what we would do is if, if it's something like that, then we would we would work out. Usually it's like um, if it's a one-time fee for the year or if you're one of our featured shops, then it's just sort of like we, we, we will – we would put it into a, a realistic uh, package for you because we, we like working with, with lots of shops anyway. We want to have everyone's shop on there uh, because we or, want vapors. Or, to or if not, I'll just put a private listing for the shop that I manage and then just run it through the company. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you might, you might get a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a vape finder review discount, but um, 
but yeah um we i mean if people have a shop that's not in there you can have just a directions pin it doesn't have any of your information or anything but that that's that's just something that we put in for for the majority of shops anyway they'll, they'll just be a, a little pin <gasps> just have your name and that's it and then people do the rest so you know what's he what's joshua on a me pod yeah yeah nice. can you actually hear him Is yeah yeah i can hear of course okay, i got a big gob mate <laughs> yeah he loves this thing <laughs> He loves this me pod. Nick, you I just did a review of this, didn't you? Yeah. Yep, just put it up. It's when good. You, I like it. just wanted to show Nick that I know what reviews he's done. <laughs> <laughs> <No, yeah. laughs> he literally, he, he didn't actually know. He was looking for a live show on YouTube, and that's when he saw the review. <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> no, I think you'll find that it was shared in the Vape Finder story on Friday. So. I did see that. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yeah. So I'm paying attention. On it. I, I haven't had a chance to catch up with your video yet. What did you think? Um, it's good. They did a few things for aesthetic reasons that are not the best for functionality. However, it's a pretty good system overall, and it's got the biggest battery of any refillable pod system. So that's pretty darn impressive. My, my only, my only thing about them would be is that their, their pod system is great, but unfortunately the pods don't... Some of their pods are really hit and miss and can their pricing on their pods. You you get a really good pod sometimes, like the one that I've had in here has been going for about three weeks now. But the first pod that I had lasted me a week, which- uh, That's long. exactly what I said in my review too. I said the pods are inconsistent. I've had some that are leaky, I've had some that dry hit, and I've had some that are, just don't last, you know, they just don't last very long. So I did try and try and take one apart, but it didn't, didn't work out too well. We were yeah. Oh, come on, man. Someone wanted me to rebuild a me me pod, and I'm like, ugh, there's no way. Josh, I can do Josh, that. Josh always get a rigs like I, I, everything. I he takes I everything apart. I, so so I really like my fix. I really really like the fix, but fix has stopped uh, distributing in the UK, and it, it was it was it was hard to to like kind of bite the bullet and go. Well, okay, I tried to order some pods from the US, and they they declined and said no, we can't ship them to you. Um, so I, I, I tried to refill a few of those. They worked out okay, but it just it's never. So been what, what you should have done, you should have went to went to our mate Nick here and said, "Look, Nick, here, here's some money. Can you get me some pods, please?" Yeah, I know. Well, that look, you know, that, that's always a possibility. I'll have to, I'll have to see what what Nick says later. Hold on, wait. Let me just do this. I'll just show you. Oh, it's gonna have shitloads of them. Look, what a bastard! Oh, uh, see, look, you've got the jewel as well. Like the jewel. Look at all these pod <laughs> systems. It's like one of those little like fans. Like, yeah, yeah. but this this is the thing. Like, I, I I totally understand for for guys like us and the people that are watching. You know, having having a regulated and unregulated device, 18650, 2700, 21700. You know, that's kind of the norm for us, but. For, for me to just quickly grab something that I can just take out with me and just use, a pod-based system is great. And it seems to be in the UK, it's taken a really long time to kind of hit off. But with things like the the Elements and the Bow and, you know, the few that are creeping into the market, it's, it's a thing that, you know, people can really back. For, for people that don't normally vape, it's a great thing to to just have with you, to just go, hey, you know what, I'm, I'm rocking currently, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm nice. currently rocking uh, my unregulated um, Death Wish. We won't talk too much about it because Tom will get sad. I um, lost mine. Uh, and then I'm with me as well. So. I didn't lose it. It was like I was in Tenerife and I was on holiday and we were out oh. in Playa de las Americas and I got out of a taxi and I had it when I went into the taxi. I got out and I did not have it anymore. Tom, I'm really Tom gutted because I love that thing. Tom was that one? the world uh, with electric with electric yeah. cigarettes by just leaving them behind. So like, <laughs> oh, I, Jeez, I just recently like was out like it always happens when I'm having a beer. I mean, I know how this happens, but I was oh, just yeah. out I'm having a beer in town in Tamworth local and uh, had my VGOD mech box that freaking guys from VGOD kindly hooked me up with. And more importantly as well, the aura from DJ DJ Daniel oh, gave that yeah. to me. Uh, um, in uh, in Paris at the Paris show, and he gave me the aura like before it was out, and I loved that thing. I thought it was sick. See, what okay, just on that, that subject, I loved the aura. I thought it was probably one of the best RDAs of twenty seventeen. I love it. Um, but a couple of people I saw uh, were saying how shit it was, and I was like, really? Are you using the same fucking thing as I am? Because I thought it was amazing. Who said it was shit? Any of you guys said it was shit? I've never used it. 
None of these okay. guys here. Yeah, this shit. one. Mike, Nick. Mike, I haven't used it. Um, oh. but yeah, no, I thought it was really good, man. It was super solid. It, it kind of it kind of reminded me um, of, in some ways, the build date looks really similar to the recoil with the kind of like staggered posts. Um, and what was really nice is that you you didn't have to you didn't have to take the top off to drip. You could just drip straight down. Yeah, straight down. It was sick. Back. And there was two like two parts to the top, like really easy. I I yeah, still it was like. A nice, it was a nice like um a different airflow system. You could have the side airflow on. You could have that switched mm -hmm. off. But but what I love about it, what I really love about it, was uh, the bottom fed airflow system. It, yeah. Okay, it's not as good as the Kennedy airflow system. The the, the posts were probably a little bit shorter. But in all fairness, it's probably one of the best bottom fed airflow system that I have seen since the Kennedy, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah it's sick. And almost compared I, to that. I I I'm I um like I'm only on drippers. I'm not a huge builder, like, but I I always <laughs> on drippers. Josh um, rolls his eyes. Hey, yeah, Josh, 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 this. Josh my builds <laughs> Time for that? Yeah. That's why he's um, on the pod system. I'm not <laughs> spending all his time building for you. Yeah, I'm exactly. A business, man, I'm a business man. Uh, I ain't got, uh, you know, like I ain't got time, and I don't like tanks. I'm just not a tank guy. I just don't. I I like to switch up the flavors too often. Like, so I constantly like am dripping and driving. So when I have a dripper that's sort of like a pain in the fucking ass to sort of like keep pulling the lid off and dripping. Everyone says drip straight down as well, but like some some RDAs it just does not work. You're still getting like dry parts of the cotton. So like this recoil is pretty sick because while I'm driving, I can just pop that and bang it, and and it doesn't spill everywhere. But the aura again was the same. It's real easy, like nice fitting, so it's tight enough yeah. but loose enough when you're pulling it off all the time and dripping. So I thought it was, I thought it was really sick. Yeah, no, I I do really like the aura. Really like the aura. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I mean, I think I think Digi Flavor when they collab with someone, they do put out good product. I mean, I'm still using the drop. I, I put some fresh coils in there the other day, and I just fucking love the drop build deck. It's I mean, anyone can build on the drop build deck. It's that easy, I think. You know, it's perfect. It's what it's what almost like a postless deck, but a good postless deck where there's very little room for error, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I, I do like I like this postless deck. I, I've got um I've got uh I can't remember which one it is now, the Cosmonaut. And the, the Cosmonaut has been awesome. Like it, it's shit off flavor, right? You know? Yeah, and and you know what? As ridiculous as it sounds, it's the most photographic deck that I've ever seen. You can put some awesome looking coils in there and take some really nice looking pictures of them. <laughs> it looks it looks wicked. So for all you guys out there that make your own coils and want to take some really nice pictures of them, get yourself a cosmonaut. It looks awesome. <laughs> so there's a question. Sorry, I'm multitasking. There's a question in chat right now from Maka. He says, "I'm flying to him right now." <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, about uh, London Vape Show. Um, if anyone is interested in exhibit a roles at London Vape Show uh, and you would like a plot, if you can please shoot me an email again to tom at vapefinder.com. Don't misspell it. There's no E in finder, V-A-P-E-F-I-N-D-R. Shoot me an email and I can send you over the exhibitor information. Um, obviously, you can check out londonvapeshow.com right now. Um, and there is like a lot of stuff about what's going on with the show. There's a floor plan for it. Um, but all sorts of pricing and that stuff I can send you in the pack. It's not Either. fucking optimized for mobiles. Is it not? No. How can I see it on my fucking mobile? <laughs> fucking pisses me off. <laughs> what mobile do you have? Fucking Jesus, Jesus, it's eight. Eight. Um, well, pull up under vape show. I mean, I can see it. I swear to God, it's not yeah. optimized properly. Um, also, I just like to say for anyone listening as well, if you are in the trade, so if you are B two B, if you're working a vape shop, you work for a vape company, it is free B two B registration that you can do right now for London Vape Show. Um, so you, we're we're doing the B two B again on the mornings of both days. So there's just a couple of hours in the morning, ten till twelve on the Saturday and the Sunday where you can come and it will be B2B only um, before we let general public in at 12. If you would like, uh, you obviously, your ticket will let you be in for the rest of the day as well, but it will let you enter at 10. Um, B2B registration is free. Just go to LondonVapeShow.com and click on B2B registration on the top tab. Um, and uh, any shop employees, any, any people working for either good companies or distros or anything like that, you are free to come down. Um, and we're gonna uh, do a big push again for it this year, of course, man. I got yeah, plans. I'm on that, man. 
Jay, yeah, Jay wants to, to give away this. <laughs> yeah, guys, um, obviously, yeah. We, we will do enough opportunities for people to win. If you're watching the Super Awesome Vape Show and you are interested in coming to the London Vape Show this year, August 25th, 26th, at Olympia, London, there will be enough opportunity for you to win a free ticket if you watch any of these guys' reviews because I will be yeah, giving out free tickets. Are you telling tickets. me that is optimized? Yeah, no, it's, it's really not. What's that? <laughs> no, I did do something. Uh, I, I, it was really blurry, but um, Jay, I have a look at it. <laughs> just it slamming his camera. Really really blurry right now. Yeah, it was really blurry, but um, but yeah, I did put some new stuff on this week. Oh, what's happened there? Oh, okay. Some of it is. Some of it. Is. Well, some of it is, You're Jay. Right. So read the good parts. You know what I'm saying? Um, or yeah. get uh, one of those handy oh, laptops or something <laughs> like that. You know. <laughs> Um, you've got a PC. I know you've got a PC because you're bloody on it. Um, so check it out. Tom, sorry, Conway, Conway Valley Vapors got a, uh, a question. Yes. I don't know why I should be reading his out because the geezer calls me Sir Tractor a lot every fucking time. <laughs> uh, but basically, <laughs> can you tell him how many people actually search for vape shops in Wales? Um, oh, I can't tell you one off. What I can tell you is we do have thousands of people checking the app each month and it really depends where these people are going. We understand as well as with, with vape finder is um, people use it to find vape shops. So our map is our most popular feature on there, but it's less going to be used by local people because they're going to know where the vape shops in their town are. But it's really great if someone's taking a trip to Wales and they don't know, you know, I've got stories of people that have told me where they've been down in London for the day and they're visiting from up North and you know, whatever. And they've, they found the shop that they wanted to go to um, using the app. So it's more sort of like, I, I would say, tourism bases where the app comes in really handy um i swear i used it to see if there was any in paris yeah i mean the I swear thing, I did. yeah yeah in parts in parts of europe we do have we do have more places i mean it, it really sort of like um we're, we're the biggest in england um but we also do spend a little bit of time covering some parts of europe as well or we have one off people sign up I have a gr I've great guy that um, named Mose that that works for a, um, a shop that's in Switzerland, and he had uh, he signed up. I saw him at one show. He signed his shop up. I saw him at the next show, like on the circuit in Europe, and uh, and he said that like, oh hey, it's really great. I had some customers come in and spend two hundred quid in in the shop, and I asked him how they found it. And he said Vape Finder, and I was like, oh okay. And he's like, yeah, but they were from Sweden, so <laughs> Swedish people visiting Switzerland. Yeah, like Zurich or whatever, and uh, went and spent two hundred quid. So he was like, "Sweet, I'm sorted." Nice. But, um, but yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, I'm trying to keep up with chat, but I'm just too busy looking at you guys' beautiful faces on on the laptop. So. I feel that we need to push this more. Push what more? The Vape Finder app. <laughs> well, we can we can you know it's kind of what I do, but at the same time, I am managing. Um, no, I'm on about that. Sure, I'm on about as lot as well. Obviously, we're a part of the vape yeah. finder. Gentlemen, the vape finder. Uh, I just exactly. feel like I don't do enough for Tom. Like I post his links in my vlogs. It's always there. And uh, yeah, I, I need to do more though. You know, there, there should be something more I can do. I should do like a, a little like app tutorial or something like that. Maybe because you can, I could screen record from my phone. So if I'd like yeah, just that. edit that in on the sidebar or something, that would be pretty yeah, cool. That would be quality. One thing that I have wanted to do this year as well. I mean, I have you guys' reviews in there as well, but I was hoping that um, I've talked to Dean, Devil Vapor. Big shout out to Dean if he, if he is watching or sees this. Um, my... You know, everyone thinks he's my favorite, but he's not. But <laughs> no, know. that's Nick. <laughs> that's not true. Uh, uh, <laughs> Nick. Everyone thinks he's my favorite as well. He's not, but Nick. I'm wearing your hat. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Um, it's like it's. <laughs> but I'm one of six kids, and my mum always doesn't have a favorite. What's <laughs> that brown nose on your uh, nose, Nick? What? What's that brand nose on your nose? Nick's definitely yeah. my favorite American vape finder reviewer. Oh yeah, because I'm like the, the only burn. One. <laughs> and to be fair, Nick, Nick, you're my favorite American reviewer, like in general. Oh, shut that's up. why. Shut that's up. why. That's kidding. why I reach. That's why I reached out to Nick. Nick, I reached out to you like years ago because uh, yeah. I, I saw him and he was just, you know, he's doing his thing. He's got these big ass holes in his fucking ears. I was like, <laughs> anyway, you two stop jerking each other off. What were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, 
Uh, I'd like you guys to do maybe some more pieces for us to, to include in the app and to be ready for the show. Um, I don't know what you want to go through tonight, by the way, Nick, because we've just been like talking in generals, but, um, you know, uh, just maybe beginners, intermediate sort of like blogs that we can start introducing more more, um, and just take it in turns for you guys to just write. You know, Mike, you came up earlier with, you know, best way to be cleaning your mech mods and, and people are interested in this kind of stuff. And if they don't always see it on the videos and, and they want to check in the app, I want to have a little section on it for that stuff there. Um, at the show, uh, go on, Nick, go on. I, I was just going to say, I think we should all just get together as vape finder reviewers and agree to do maybe like one quick little like maybe two minute video a month about something so like you know yeah. mike, mike could do like mech maintenance and i could do like a, a quick wicking tutorial for something you know jay could do i don't know a juice review or a mod review or something same thing with Definitely. Vinny, chris all those guys we could do like I a can... two minute quick video yeah. Definitely. I can definitely help out as well. I can show you how to make a mean omelette. Uh, <laughs> you can teach us the real rules of beer pong. <laughs> Bro, oh don't start me, Vinny, because... Man, we won. Here. I was playing, we were, me and you were on the same team, so whichever fucking rule you come up with, it really didn't matter because we were winning, so... <laughs> yeah, but you still got fucked. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm not making them up. Nick will vouch for this. And you go to different areas, there's different rules, but you adopt the rules that you're in, but you're at my fucking house and we play American rules because I grew up in California. So that is how we, that's how we do it. If I grew up in England and I knew the rules in England, I, I would tell you, but. Play no fucker plays it over here, man. Yeah, exactly. Well, no one, everyone over here, Nick, I don't know, you've, you came over here, but I doubt you've played beer pong in England yet, but everyone over here is, is taught and they have tidbits of, people that they went to uni with where they're like there was americans there but then they've left uni since and just remembered little bits and basically they're like you get it in the cup i played beer pong the other day and some motherfuckers were trying to bounce it every turn and said that you couldn't slap it away and i said get out of my house, <laughs> get out of my house bounce it like you, you bounce it, slapped you're it out the window it. bro don't try that Tom shit. picks up the fucking <laughs> tennis racket to it <laughs> Yeah, I slapped the ball straight out the fucking window. Out the fucking the window. Well, that's one ball. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's, that's the, the uh, level of attentiveness. You know? Sorry, dude, really important question uh, mm -hmm. from David the Southwood Vapor. Question, what is disabled access like at the show? Um, oh, you're catching me off guard here, but I know that we do have disabled access. There is a lift. Um, a so, the yeah, so there's a ramp into the building. There's a lift just on the right hand side. So there will be access straight up to level one. So it's on the on the on the level one floor, straight through the doors then. So you should be absolutely fine. We we did actually have some uh, some visitors last year who were who were wheelchair bound and they mm -hmm. were more than capable to to come into the show. Mm -hmm. So I know that we had a few that came in. So it was pretty it was pretty easy to get in. Yes, it is. Um, if you got gone go on. no go on all right. I was just saying, if anyone has questions on this year's London Vape Show, please feel free to ask them right now, um, and we'll get to them. Um, I can also tell you guys a bit more about the show if you want, but you know, I'm not. I don't have an agenda. I'm I'm just chilling. I'm chatting. You're just enjoying your hobgoblin. I am, mate. Sorry, I knew like. Fucking like, love a bit of hobgoblin. Sometimes talk about your beers. Which like, one is it? Which one is it? Is it the normal one? This is, uh, yeah, I believe, a oh. uh, normal one. This is because I was running late. I was having to drop my girlfriend off. At, we we were down in, we were right by um, Vaping Pagonophiles um, shop down in Rugby. I had to take her down there, um, and we were out for the day. We came back late, so I literally had to run into a Tesco's, and she was picking up some Carlin for for one of our mates and I was like, do you want Carlin? And I was like, no, because if I get on the super awesome vape show and <laughs> Nick, the beer snob, like sees me drinking Carlin, like it I don't won't go down. Like, is, so. It's fucking shit. Okay. And I it's like drink it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, um, it's like a UK version of like your, your Bud Light. Or, oh, Miller, God. Miller or something, you know, my least favorite beer. Yeah. But I was going to gonna pick fair. up some, Sierra I did Nevada. notice you picked up a decent little beer there. So, brownie points to you. Yeah, I mean, I I, I love brownie. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. Um, like Drinking literally, your favorite thing. Yeah, my favorite thing includes <laughs> beer. Yeah, it does. I'm just gonna say it. Um, but um, hobgoblin is a standard. This used to be 
like rewind the clock a few years this used to be a little bit more select so like it wasn't as widely um available but now this has come in i think they've got some contracts with some of the major um <coughs> chains now so Hobgoblin yeah it was very independent a few years ago like yeah. a really small time wow. i like the uh, i like the golden hobgoblin yeah, uh, yeah. Nice. what actually i you know what i've always wanted to try is the halloween edition I've never try tried it. that. I mean, is it nice though, or is it only available? <laughs> <Halloween? Try it. laughs> What's on your back, bro? Pick it up, Dick. I'm saying it's only available at Halloween because when the pub I used to work in, they only had it around Halloween time. Yeah, it does happen sometimes, but I know after Halloween leading up to Christmas, I can still find it some places. But That's like Pub Goblin sold. used to be one of my favourites. I used to work in a pub, the Centurion, um, local in Tamworth, and they used to have it on tap there. So. Oh wow! Really? Um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, he's on tap. But, <laughs> yeah, but, um, but I'm um, just gonna say real quick, real quick. I just gotta give a quick couple of shout outs here. We got Demo Vapes watching. Shout out to you, Demo Vapes. Shout Demo. out to hey. Mr. Dress Right One. Joel is watching. Shout out to you. So Joel, uh, we shout also out to Charlotte as well. Hello, Charlotte's Big in the Charlotte. building. Uh, James Franklin, and we had. Let's see. Um, people are saying we should do. Our own channel for Sabs. I'm just wondering if it, that's a good idea because we've kind of come a long way from where we were at the beginning. So, well, I mean, I want you guys to tell me. Like, I think we should have a whole Sabs portion of the Vape Finder app where you know um, you guys can just update us on a variety of things, get your little like bios. We can do it. Do, you know what? Sabs Sabs calendar. Ooh. Yeah, we could do a sales calendar. Like, branch out yeah. and get the super awesome beer show while you're there. Well, but, yeah, dude, why that not? Would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Vinny's like, in, mate, sign me up. Vinny, I'm, I'm fucking well on that. Forget this vaping thing. Let's just get drunk. <laughs> I love it. Charlotte wants an actual shout out. Charlotte Hudson, shout out to you. You have been yeah. shouted out, Carlo and Charlotte. <laughs> um, big up. <laughs> Invite uh, the Bogan and um, Rick. So. Yeah, get chair, man. Come on over. I feel bad that we have to have headphones in. I don't usually do this, so. Do you not have a splitter? Kind of is a farm one, guys, but I don't have a splitter. Josh does have a splitter, but I don't know. There are clothes on the floor down here. He tidied up, but not so much. Well, how about this time? Tell Josh to go and get the splitter. <laughs> oh, no, I, I can hear you guys clear as day from, uh, from, and I love watching him do this because this is brilliant. I just have to sit so close. Well, it's the, it's the, the whole These fuckers have made me put these fucking things on. And we're oh, all very man. fucking grateful, Jay. Well, I'm Trust fucking me. not. My ears are sweaty. <laughs> oh, please. Get some deodorant for him or something. anti yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're all wearing fucking headphones. I know you're complaining. <laughs> so we did have a question. Actually, um, uh, Mr. Just Right One, Joel asked, what are those oh. headphones, Tom? These? Me? Oh, these are Bozy. Both, 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 mate. 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 Both, Boise. 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 Boise will be Boise. Idaho. Boise. There's no, there's no I before the E. I'm talking. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. They're, they're both then. Ooh. Thank you. So, question by ABM Hussain. Uh, he recently built one of the chain coils, but he tastes steel with it. The hot spot. Either, say, a hot hot spot. Sp yeah, either a hot spot, yeah. or when you made the coils to start with, did you wash them before you dry burned them? Yeah. And also, it might be it might be an obvious one, but um, have you whipped them up? <laughs> Just, just saying, sorry. We can real hard. We can, we can real hard. The thing I think with actually really big coils is that when you, when you run like a big old coil, you do get that that lingering hot spot that tends to be like just off center that just stays yeah. there for ages. It's that you've really got to put some power through them. Otherwise, that fucker that yeah. don't disappear. But yeah, and, and also, you've got it. with, with oh. the um, chain link coil where it's quad twisted. You have to wash the coils to get rid of any of the um, loose slag that comes off of the loose in the twisting slag. process. Loose slag. <laughs> I've never, I've never Every, heard everybody, that in my life. Not, my everybody friend. loves a loose slag. What are you going on about? It's called slag. I thought it'd be 
Slag lag or something. I've never heard someone call it slag before. <laughs> Come on, Mike. You're making it so difficult to stay serious, man. <laughs> no slag. Oh, oh God. Do you have any wire? Are you kidding? There's, there's so much innuendo, and when Mike says it so seriously, it's that much funnier. <laughs> Yeah. I just love that. I love You've the probably got a bit twisted. of a loose flag. That was one twist. You know, <laughs> this is where, like, I miss Chris. He would come in with, like, an impersonation or something. A shout out to Tom's favorite brother, Rob. Shout out to you, Rob. You've been shouted out. What's up, Rob? Question for you, Have Tom. You done the what mech paper were you having at the um, London Vape Show this year? Mech people, well, obviously, as you can imagine, um, we did last year's show, and we've literally just last week started going out to um, go to all of our exhibitors from last year and ask who's coming. Um, I know a few people that are attending this year, but I'm we've started earlier this year in our preparation, so I'm not 100% on everyone. I have been told that um, Perch are keen to be back. Cool. That's what I've been told. Um, I believe John saw the guys over at Rogue. Uh, and our boy John at Alpha Vapors, um, who said he will be back. So Rogue should be there again. Cool. Watch the sausages. And um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I have. I was contacted the other day by another uh, mech, um, well, sort of like high-end mod company, and I can't put my finger on who they are. Um, I am um, also looking to do uh, like a sort of like a modders. Gallery, so like gallery areas. Well, this oh, please tell um, me they're going to be full of 3D printed skunk watchers. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I'm sure there'll be some skunks there. Um, I, I don't know for sure, but, you know, I've, I've got no problem with it. You know, I don't want everything. I would like to have a variety of stuff at the show. Yeah. Obviously, you must understand, like, we're running a show. We try and put the show on. We've, um, we've got to try and take a little bit of who who's who's paying money for booths but at the same time i will i i'm actively trying to get people that i'd like to come to the show as well um but if if people are going to be there you know if there's a company that wants to pay for a booth and and they're paying the money then you know all the power to them you come do that um everyone you know has their own opinions if there's a company that they don't want or that they do want people will get excited about you know your purges your rogues and stuff like yeah. that we had dragon mods last year as well which yeah. which we personally like um big up to alpha. alpha don't do rogue no more do they not oh well that's what a comment has been put up there oh okay well you know i haven't talked to john in a while but we did see uh i think it was j mark in rome maybe um but i'm i you know speculating because this is this is something that we've only just started going out and getting the bookings in for next year um but yeah as i say like you know uh the exhibitors like we try and put on a a good show for all involved um it's a really hard fine line and a process because you know you've got to make sure that you're taking care of you guys the good people that are coming down and uh coming to enjoy your time here so we try and have as, as much of a variety of companies as possible um, we also, you know, uh, I think a lot of the time, you know, as as I've noticed, as I've been doing Vape Finder for a couple of years now, you've got to give it up to a lot of these exhibitors as well, because, you know, um, everyone loves a freebie, you know, everyone loves coming up uh, and, and getting stuff that is sort of like a freebie here and there as well. But you got to understand, like, people are working, you know, a lot to put money, invest money into being business owners and exhibitors at these shows. And they spend a lot of money on, on coming and attending these, you know, um, and, you know, you've got to understand that they, they, this is, this is an investment for them um, in making sure that their, their products are showcased, uh, making sure, you know, they do do a lot of marketing, a lot of giveaways and um, a lot of sort of like, you know, all the staffing levels, the travel costs, getting the boost down there, like, it is um it is something that we do appreciate because without these vape events you know um it, it's you know it would be your year would be a little bit more boring we all look love, love looking forward to then the next show that's coming up and some people can pick and choose which ones they go to we've just tried to add another event to the calendar um and another one down south in london you've got your vape jam uh, which i'm a, a big fan of personally um uh, we've got Vape Jam coming up this April, I believe. Are you going, I, uh, I will be going. Of course I'll be going. Um, 
you know, uh, I know Amir uh, from P Vapor who does Vape Jam. Um, I will be attending that show, of course, like we did last year. Um, and we, in fact, when we set up London Vape Show, we wanted to make sure that we weren't going to be stepping on toes of, of the other shows because Nick, unlike the USA, where there's, you know, you can have a show here, there and everywhere in every different state or a couple um you know england's a smaller place we didn't want yeah. to just put like another london show on very close to vape jam because we're not trying to no try that's right you need to leave it with, a nice proportion yeah, it's, which is better though because there's not that many shows here so having them spread out rather than like you say stepping on oh. anyone's toes is better for us as well because it's something to look forward to yeah yeah definitely definitely um definitely and you know we we respect it like i'm not i'm not a hater i'm not one of those people that wants to say like oh no don't go to vapor expo don't go to vape sham uh, vape jam come to come to oh, did i say vape sham i was about to say you heard it here first no, no vape jam i really enjoy vape jam um and uh i'm not a hater i do enjoy going to the other shows it's just some people you know some people are um planning their years they might be on holiday when vape jam's on and then you're asking someone from London to come up to go to to Birmingham then for one of those shows because they they they're not around when Babe Jam is on. So we've just added another um, uh, event. We've we've done it this year. We've we've pushed the dates back in August, so it's it's the end of August now. So it's just before all the shows on the European circuit. Um, they all start in September. That's when a lot of people are bringing out new products in September as well. So possibly i know purge did it last year they had a couple of new products that they released yeah, at our they, show they, they, um, they released the truck at your show didn't they yeah so hopefully mm. our show it might be the best place to come pick up some that new new stuff that is just about to come out in september seeing as the last drop ball shit nick sorry <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry shot, yeah uh, george's got a question george george's got a question for you he wants to know where you can get one of them hats from Merch link in bio. Hats. Um, <laughs> the hats. I literally have. Oh, so I've still got a few hats left at the moment. I've got to get another order of hats in. Uh, but I do have a select limited amount left. Um, if you can drop me an email if you're interested in a hat, um, they're fifteen pounds, and we will sell them. You can get our shirts at shop.vapefinder.com. You can get our juice range uh, bear flavors from there as well, but I don't think I've put the hats on yet. Oh. Or I can put the hats on shop.vapefinder.com and you can go check them there. Well, you could do that. Otherwise, well, they're, they're, they're all rocking that. their hats now. Huh? Yeah, Tom, I... Tom, 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 you're a moderator in chat, so just drop the links, man. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Like, I haven't done this before. So good, Tom, I, mean, uh... I mean, the Vape Finder hats are pretty cool. I'll give away one hat tonight anyway. I've got literally a few left, but I think if you look on this hat, this hat's very special because this is my initial vape finder hat and it also has a little pin on it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Tom. Wow. And it stays on everywhere I go. <laughs> I can only get so around, but, but you said you're giving that one away. So, <laughs> hey Tom, 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 I'm not giving, I'm not giving away my my pin. You know, if Nick wants to ship me some pins, I will put them on the hats. I'll, pal, hey. I'll have some more pins for next London yeah. Vape Show. How about that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, right. um, Nick, I was out just really quickly to Jared the Vaping Goat. He's nine subs away from five hundred. Let's see if we can make it happen. Oh, Go wow. get your boy some subs. Wow. Oh yeah, well, Tom. We also have to put the uh, www and all that. The, the yeah, whole... http oh, colon oh, oh, oh. shebang. Um, http. Yeah, and Tom Charlotte just put in chat as well that she hopes SMKD will be there as well. Good. We'd love to have SMKD back. In fact, Charlotte, if we haven't emailed you yet, I think we're planning on getting in touh with you. Um, yeah, SMKD uh, had a good time last year. They were right next to the main stage. Um, so, Charlotte, what's up? And they won some awards too. Yeah, uh, they did, and they won an award with um, Tesla. Tesla as well with the W Y E Y Y E Y E Y E. Remember the award? Uh, uh, yes, yeah, so, um, big up to them. Hi, Charlotte. Um, uh, so yeah, so there you go. Then SMKD will be there this year, hopefully, guys. I know um, if if you want a couple more people that I think um, should be coming um these are one of them already booked my boys over at orium uh, if you yeah. haven't tried orium please go ahead and find them out i think they're 
it, where can you get them right now? I know that just Vape Co. Orium so Vape Co. Um, yeah. Um, Orium and this, are we allowed? This is wow. it. This is new, new stuff. There you go. I've also oh, got a, uh, a lucky charm flavor, guys. Stay, stay nice. tuned to Orium. Um, stay tuned to Orium. Um, big up to the guys if over you, there. If you're a marshmallow fan, then it could be it could be an interesting time for you. If you like a marshmallow, they do a really good one. I know Orium. Uh, this is like one of our success stories of, of last year's show because um, we had Orium down, and I think it was their first show. Mm. And since then, they've come on like leaps and bounds, and Same they as, went down a real hit. Like a lot of people. Same as Dodo. Uh, Dodo even going short fields right now. Big Dodo. Big Dodo. Big Dodo. Big Dodo. Big Dodo. Big up to Maurizio at Vape Dodo. Dodo um, actually goes fucking crazy in our shop. Yeah. It's really yeah. good stuff. Really, really good stuff. I went, I went. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Kim, Kim Brule over here. Just sat on the couch casually, by the way. <laughs> hey, Hi. Hi. Hey, Kim. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Vaping Vape Dodo. Come over here, Kim. Come on. Oh, and she's got the shirt on. Come get the Dodos over here. Bring your dodos over here. <laughs> Save that for the after show. Sorry. <laughs> this is Kim, everybody. Please go follow her. Can we? Hey, can Kim. We little... Kimdrid91 on Instagram. Kimdrid91 on Instagram. That's Kimdrid, like the old, uh, the council of vapor mech that they had, which is a funny story. Um, yeah, yeah, she loves the coconut. Uh, ra raspberry? What was it? What coconut? She's there. Number four. She's no. There. Castaway Coconut. Castaway Coconut by Dodo. Number, number three, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So she's been on that. Dodo will be there this year as well. Yeah. Um, spoken I know. Him. I know a bloke, right? He comes in, he buys horny, pineapple horny, and mixes it with vape Dodo coconut, and he loves the pina colada tasting thing. Yeah. Wow. That's an interesting shout. Okay. Good shout. Yeah. He buys loads of it. I'm serious. I sit you not. He buys loads of it. Do you know what? I was, so, I was so busy at last year's show, I didn't even get to taste like the majority of people's juice. It was there. Oh, you was lucky then. <laughs> oh, well, uh, that's a good plug. There. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, tell all the reviewers there's space on the. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'll tell you what. If you want to get into the vape finder app, just tell Tom that you will be the judges for the juices at the next show. Trust me, the entire show's worth of. Vape juice. Listen, we've and uh, some that were backpackers just dropping juice off of the desk. Uh, like, oh, yeah, well, I'm not even going to name them, although I should name them for people that tried to enter into the juice awards and they weren't even exhibiting. But that's a that's another story I won't touch on. And um, we will be doing a little bit of a streamlined um, version of the awards this year again, guys, because we have taken uh, Nick's uh, advice on board. Obviously, our second show, we're always learning. Um, we will be having people submit their juice and their products before the event. So we have them, everything's all labeled up. Oh, we're still going to be doing the same thing then, but obviously a revamped version. Them, we're going to have them submit them in a tank. We're thinking like Cleo tanks submitted um, before the event. So when you guys turn up on the day, you've got a very consistent um, tank uh, to be trying all of them on. We are, we'll be having them. Uh, not submitted in nine milligram and twelve milligrams like these <laughs> bastards did to your last. Yeah, year. <laughs> Tom, I'm, I'm, I've got to be honest, Tom. I'm scared to put my name forward to be a judge. Bruh, now I know why I'm addicted to fucking Nick Salts. <laughs> yeah, well, but listen, um, we're going to be doing that. If you guys want to know a, a little bit about what's going on at this year's show, we are uh, we will have um, the Vape Finder reviewers being the judges of the awards again, which I think was amazing last year. You guys worked really hard. Um, we will be doing that again, but it will be a lot easier. Um, again, it's our second show. It's always a learning curve. But one thing that we did get a lot of praise for last year was the fact that we did have a completely white labeled award system. There was no nice. liquids awards being won from people who ran the event or anything. It's not like bare flavors would be submitted in there anyway or anything. There's no favoritism for the people that spent the most money on the booths. It was straight 100%. The Vape Finder review has chosen. They were white labeled. Jay and Mike, if 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 I remember correctly, you guys uh, you guys didn't even know what juice it was, and you both hit me up after the show and said, "What was number eighty <laughs> one?" Yep. I I tried it in the reviewing section and I loved it, but I don't know what it is. And I got back to you like a, like a week or two later, didn't I? And said, "Oh, I found the list." Yeah, guys, I've still guys. got one here. Who's, I don't know uh, what it is. Ducking it off near the microphone because we can hear some rubbing going on. 
<laughs> That's you, mate. <laughs> My microphone's in, mate. You can see I'm not doing anything. Oh, yeah, so I'm, I'm freaking business. So, Tom, another question from Bull Sonic is um, Have you contacted TVL Mix at all? See whether uh, they want to be there. I don't think I have at the moment. If anyone has suggestions for their favorite companies to come to the show, please, by all means, um, you know, you can, you can ask their permission. You can forward us uh, the info. You can, you can send us a message on the vape finder Instagram or on Facebook and we will, we will reach out to them. Um, or you can ask them to send them the link LondonVapeShow.com, and see if it's something they would be interested in. Um, we, we want to have, um obviously as many like great companies there as possible we do have room uh with our layout this year which you can see the layout the proposed layout the floor plan on londonbapeshow.com we do have room to get more exhibitors in there this year um it's just a case of um you know having getting the the contacts with people and, and having people want to come down a lot of people again you got to appreciate these exhibitors sometimes they're doing tours from the, to europe then they do the u.s shows they've got to go out to asia as well so um we uh we we want to have as many as possible i do want to have a few like newer companies as well just like our vape dodos and our oriums from last year because um they were they were really great and it was great to see them grow i i caught up with vape dodo and orium at uh, vapor expo um the second one this year and saw how they were doing and they're going from strength to strength and it's, it's really good to see um we had people like big bottle distro as well um uh, big up to sophia um if you watch at all um sophia at big bottle um see them growing and everything and it's, it's really nice to know that they came down uh we had the guys from herman vapes um does anyone know the guys from herman vapes ray ray lawton Vapor is. Um, is someone playing with sandpaper? Huh? Is someone playing with sandpaper? No, I wish I wish was uh, polishing his mech again. No, I got that earlier on. No, it's um. Tom's mic rubbing against his shirt because his mic is right here on his headphone cord. Oh. Right. <laughs> I thought I was going crazy, so I thought I'd put it in chat because I was like, is anyone else hearing this? <laughs> oh, oh, switch oh. with me. Switch. switch. With me. In fact, take the headphones for a second. I'm going to get a beer. <laughs> hey guys, it's Tommy P. How's it going? <laughs> Josh. Hey, Sup, hey everyone. Josh. I still Hi, got Josh. your picture uh, on my phone, dude. Why, you know, the one you took. Yeah, yeah it's a screensaver. Well, why shouldn't it be? Why should it not be plastered all over your uh, bedroom walls? It is. <laughs> it's, not. it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's it's not. On the ceiling. I feel like I haven't seen you guys in forever. I feel like I watch your show, but we like I I post messages and and obviously I I, I obviously fall on deaf ears. It's really sad. <laughs> oh, I wished you happy birthday, bro. You did. Thank you. Thanks for that. No, we don't dispose of the date of my birthday just in case. So sh- no, yeah. I'm talking about it. Secret. So yeah. Um. So don't worry, pretty- dude. We'll go out for drinks when we were at the show. Yeah, definitely. I, I, to be honest, it's you know, it's one, one of the nicest things about about having these kinds of shows is that we do have the ability to kind of you know everyone gets the chance to meet up and we get to see everyone who comes along and you guys and they get to meet you as well, which was really nice. And I know there were a lot of people last year wandering around getting super excited that they they'd finally got a chance to meet that you know that reviewer that they'd never had a chance to meet. Oh my god, it's Daily yeah. Vape TV. No, no, that was Vinny. It was Vinny. Everyone was like, oh, it's Vinny. Sir Vaping a lot. How? Why that have been? Oh, my front cam on my back cam. <laughs> oh. Do you know what, though? I've got to say thank you so much for every subscriber that come up to the London Vape Show when I was testing juices because it gave me a second to stand up and walk away from the table. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want really <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, so, Let's go, champ, James. When you uh when you when you finish your hot dog, can I get your autograph? <laughs> oh my god, them hot dogs. Tom, make sure you get them hot dogs back again, dude. They were amazing. Really? We're gonna have make a, sure you get a, a fucking a discount section for the catering. Can Vinny, I buy yeah, yeah, sausage? Yeah. So, I, I fucking love sausage. Hashtag uh, love sausage. So hashtag so, Vinny so, is a sausage. So we've heard Vinny. <laughs> Yeah, oh, cheeky little... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is cheeky little fucking thing. If you look on the um, if you look on the floor plan on LondonVapeShow.com, there is an extra little additional area where we will be opening the doors to where the catering will be. 
um, that's going to allow us to have a little bit more room in the show. So the catering should be sort of like in an astro turf. We've called it the beer garden, but nice. there will be beer there. I'm into uh, it. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, so we should have hopefully a couple of different vendors as well um, in, in that. There's also going to be <laughs> a, a speaker's corner uh, this year. We're looking at trying to get a few speakers um, in, in a few different categories. Again, we are looking for sort of like nominations of, of people that you'd like to hear if you, if you want to have talks done during the show um people that will talk about tpd uh compliance um people uh that will talk maybe you know maybe we might have a few companies come on and, and say how they've been how they see the the scene going this year or maybe for 2019 um and we'll we're also i don't know if empire has uh, mentioned it but the plans were I, I went to see Chris at uh, Empire Vapeco uh, in Liverpool, fucking Liverpool, uh, <laughs> last week. Um, and while I was with Chris, there was a mention of the speakers' corner having a live Super Awesome Vape show filmed at the at the event. So, oh, right. um, I was thinking maybe oh, we'd have a live. You, you'll have to run that through the teacher. <laughs> we'll talk after the show. Um, I think we can manage that. Tom, <laughs> actually, I'm not okay with this. I'm not okay with this. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's. I just don't want to, you know, give out too much information right now. You know, but uh, yeah. Tom, you had a question like way earlier. Someone asked, "How many downloads of the Vape Finder app do you get a month?" Um, it varies each month. Uh, I really couldn't tell you because um, it really depends if we're doing things like last year when we went on our, our European uh, adventure for a month. We were meeting people all the time so we can have like a couple thousand um, or we can have a couple of hundred. It really, really depends. When we had the London Vape Show, obviously, we have peaks there. Um, and then when we have quieter months, maybe there's less going on or there's no... Have you got stats? Have you got stats for like all time like downloads ever? Um, no, I mean, like it's 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 a yeah, funny do you have like a number of it's... the maximum downloads? Is there no way of it being tracked it's... how many times well, it's been downloaded? To be fair, with with the industry, um, what it is with stats and everything, it's not so we don't just release stats to people on oh, no, no, those no, sorts no, of no, matters. No. Um, yeah, I know that oh, we yeah, have. Obviously, of we course, have, I see what you're I, saying. I can but... tell you that in our first two years um, with Vape Finder, we, we had 20,000 downloads, which was why we then Ooh. obviously took off the way that we did. Fucking but hell, um, that's again, amazing. that's more of something that we would we would be sort of talking to with clients and stuff like that. It's not something that we really um, are at liberty to talk about to general public. Well, I know there's yeah, yeah, yeah. new people that do download the app. You know, we're always interested in feedback on the app. Um, you can, again, definitely message us on our, our social media channels and tell us what you'd like to see. Um, we do sometimes run, you know, a few giveaways from there. Um, we always have the offers tab where you can check out um, special discount codes um, or offers. Uh, the it best never lets me log in. Um, you don't have to log <laughs> yeah, no. in to get the offers. No, but I mean, like... Jay's almost. just got issues with your app, mate. Yeah, he's got issues, yeah. I think Jay's just got issues, full stop. There is, there is. <laughs> Cheers, guys. And yeah. there Mike is with the mic drop. Fuck yeah. you. Mike's <laughs> mix. <laughs> yeah, make sure you get it right this time, Jay. That's why I said it slowly. <laughs> what I can say is, if you have the app downloaded at the show, um, for if have the Vape Finder app downloaded for when you come to the show, we will do some special um, um, incentives and or giveaways and or offers. Um, this is going to be based on pr probably um, talking to the exhibitors and saying, look, if someone has the Vape Finder app at your stand, will you be giving them a discount for this? But that is going to be relied on by the exhibitors giving you stuff. Sorry, I'm having a bit of a mare. Um, uh, yeah, so we will also be sending push notes leading up to the event to let you know on, on you know, additions or, or updates on the show. So it's always worth having the Vape Finder app on your phone. Um, I will add as well that push notifications and location services, since Apple have done their update, it does allow you to just have your location services on when using the app, which Apple never used to allow us to do. And some people got annoyed with it, but that's down to Apple releasing that. That's... That was a good update for us. <coughs> Just Apple. one thing. Mr. Pro Skills 11, 
if you don't know, I have been ill all this week and I haven't had a chance to go anywhere. I've been laid up in bed and God knows what. I only went back to work yesterday. Your juices will be sent out, not tomorrow, but Tuesday. Not tomorrow, but Tuesday. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> he could have just said Tuesday, in all fairness. Right yeah. from your, he's mad. I didn't know what date was, so I said not tomorrow. And then, oh, yeah, it's Monday tomorrow, Tuesday. <laughs> you still uh, that ill then? <laughs> I am a little bit ill still. I've got to say, Jay, your beard looks fucking awesome. Thanks, mate. I've, no, no, no. I've got to say. Mike, like... Mike's got a bit of a beard coming on as well now, which I appreciate. I'm liking that. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm glad, glad it's back. back. By the time the uh, vape finder show comes, it'll be down here, Tom. That's what, mate. <laughs> Get the nice Merlin. You're a, you're a fucking wizard, mate. <laughs> so <laughs> I might even go far and put on Viking beads in it again. The perfect oh stereotypical God. vapor right there. Beard and snapback. Love oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just, yeah. just need to stretch yeah. the hole in the ear to the same size as Nick's. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you can get a cucumber in it. Uh, uh, Tom, Tom, we're not. We're, it's not that sort of show, mate. Calm down. Uh, <laughs> but do you know what, though, oh, I did actually see someone Shit, had their headphones just dangling. Like he was talking to someone, so instead of holding his headphone, he put it through his little um, flesh tube and was leaving it dangling there. I was like, that's sick. Uh, we, look, I love a little flesh tube as much as the next guy. <laughs> but... What is it called? Flesh tunnel? What is it called? Tunnel. Yeah, flesh fucking tunnel. hole. I don't think you don't have to flesh say flesh at all, Vinny. Okay, oh, so they are called flesh tunnels, though. Yeah, oh, thank Jay you. So I weren't far off then. Thank Jay you, Mike. Well it's the hole in your fucking ear. Yeah, <laughs> fucking hole in your ear, old mate. Um, no, it's, uh, it's what the fuck is that? <laughs> that's what yeah, it is. Fucking, that's some fucking stretch yeah. mark. That's what that is. Bye, Jared yeah. the Paper and Jared. Jared. See you later, dude. <laughs> Jared, <laughs> nice Jared. Have, a good, have a good night, mate. I'm, I'm Bye, really um, not jealous. I'd like to say as well, if anyone has. Um, any um, any companies that they would like to see at this year's show, by all means, uh, feel free to um, send us a message or drop it in chat, and we we can definitely reach out to some people. Um, we should be having some some good companies, as I said. But if there's any <coughs> additional, um, Tom, you, if you don't get SMKD there. I'm not turning up this year. <laughs> I'm sure SMKD will be there. <laughs> Charlotte, give Charlotte's not going to drop the ball. I will not. I will not vlog your event this year. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh God, that's big talk. If you don't have that, Mr. That. GoPro is taking a stand. <laughs> if, if you don't have that sausage vendor back, that's it. That's the last straw. Yeah, oh, and that as well. To, to and they better have enough fucking grilled onions. I will tell you. <laughs> yeah. Look, on this year's show as well, um, yeah, I was hoping we can do a QA and a with the reviewers. Uh, we're hoping to get some more, like, uh, high-end sort of, like, uh, mod companies there as well. Uh, we do want, again, a really good mixture of, of juice companies. Um, I am going to say as well, like, our main focus of this event is just like we did last year. Um, we, we had a really good time last year getting smokers converted to vapors. And that was the one of the main reasons that I wanted to do the show personally. Me and John, who's, who's my dad, my business partner, um, you know, we both talked about doing this show. And one of the first things we discussed um, when we talked about getting the show set up was um, what I thought would be an obligation for us to get smokers converted to vapors, um, helping people quit. Um, so last year we did about 200 new uh, vapors. We brought them into the show. Um, we're going to do a lot more marketing this year to try and get people, everyone that came last year, to come down again and bring a friend who is a smoker uh, because that's what I see these shows. You know, we're, we're missing a trick if we're just trying to appeal to everybody that already vapes. I know that yes. we want to get people to, to come in and go and check out, you know, your Rogue, your Purges and stuff. I know what you want to get people over to, you know, El Diablo and One Hit Wonder and check out their juice. I, I know you want to do all that, but at the same time, I want someone who's a vapor to bring a mate and say, look, you're a smoker. What are you doing this weekend? Come on down yeah, with me. Definitely. Uh, I think great. it's such a fucking good idea. I just love the concept of it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the right thing because you're introducing them into vaping in, oh. in a way which everybody like everybody loves the show. The vape shows are wicked and you're introducing them into Everyone the right bit. It. You know, I, just, I get that's, that's when I basically started vaping is when I, I tried a couple of times and it didn't it didn't you know uh, stick and I went to a vape show and I was like oh my god like 
yeah this is not just a this little conversation it. you know like oh, oh god i'll try this and <laughs> I'll break it and then i'll forget it and then i'll have like you know 10 b and h please bro like you know this is not one of them like we're trying to we're trying to get have people Street. experience like there's so many different flavors this is Tom, like how do you vape like, Huh? <laughs> don't. How, don't. Just, can you do it again? Show us how you fight. It was like this one. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Save that for the after show, boys. Um, um, I'm really glad. I, I really hope someone joined just as we were doing this. I'll yeah. be sure. I'll be sure to see you guys um, uh, turn that into a fucking GIF or something. Someone, please. Uh, yeah, please, do. please, please, someone. I do it to devil vapor every now and again. You got to <laughs> scratch it a little bit to get, uh, shake it a little bit to get it yeah. off. Um, that's mine and Josh's twenty minutes of a lot night. We never got back. Um, but yeah, start kits. We're doing free start kits again this year for anybody that comes up to the vape finder booth and wants to drop in a pack of cigarettes. If they're a smoker that's come off the streets or they've come with a vapor friend and they come and drop off some cigarettes. Um, at our booth, so and we will give you a free starter <laughs> kit and some free juice to get on your way, and then we will be pointing you over to the Vape Finder reviewers, our boys over here. They'll give you all the info you need to, you know, any questions you've got about vaping, and you know, like our um, help from like health aspects to sort of like what juice should I be starting off with? How can I upgrade? A anything like that. Um, that's what these these guys are here for, and you guys did a really good job last time of <laughs> i feel like i'm i'm not in on the joke here but i don't want to know um i yeah on, on the real the vape finder reviewers last year where i thought it was one of the best parts of the show is having you guys there um from all the 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 time that they put into the judging to just literally do, do you guys remember when we had um all those boys that come up from the the great british beer festival from downstairs oh yeah, yeah. man they were all eight great nine, oh, eight eight or nine. Fully grown, so like you know, probably rugby lads and blah blah blah, and they come in, all got their fags and ditched all their cigarettes, and um, gave them each a starter kit. And we had every single one of the vape finder reviewers sat down individually with a guy setting setting up his um his starter kit, um, showing him how to sort of like get it all set up and 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 send him on their way. That was that was really cool. yeah. That, to be in, honest, in, I mean, Tom, that was amazing that you done that, dude. Uh, honestly that was really amazing in the words of chris intimate <laughs> <laughs> and then there was a um, young lady as well that was going through chemo as well wasn't there tom yeah definitely yeah. Yeah. she was um th there was a girl going through chemo at the time her picture is on the website um on londonvapeshow.com you can see some of the people that got the star kits going through chemo um she just wanted something that was going to take that that taste out of her mouth um because she was really struggling with it and she uh we got her a starter kit we got um her liquids they were supplied last year from the guys at mojito and vape mob distribution they gave them i think 40 mil uh, worth of juice to get started and then we took around the show and and helped to find a couple places where she might find some flavors that she enjoyed she was really really over the moon with everything Tom, I've got to ask, have you got the uh, the blue passes and the black passes all sorted and things like that? Oh, don't get me started on that <laughs> fucking woman. Yo. Talking about Yo. a uh, UK female reviewer, like, you know, the whole the whole thing was just about the colour of the passes, mate. Fuck me. Dude, have <laughs> listen, them all one fucking colour, all right? people want to reach out, listen, <laughs> any reviewers, any people, like, if, okay, if you're in B2B and you're in the trade of vaping, go sign yourself up right now, LondonVapeShow.com, I think slash B2B registration, go get your free B2B pass. Please do not try and do it if you're an, a normal, just B2C um, customer and vapor, because you know that's uh, we will be checking for that. But if you're in the trade, go get your free B2B. If you are a listener of this show, um, there's gonna be ample opportunity for you to win a free ticket, but otherwise you can go purchase your tickets very soon uh, when, we, when we set those up on the website as well. If you're a reviewer, you're someone you know in the media or someone that wants a press pass or something like that, please contact me, tomavapefinder.com, or in the coming months, I will have a, a link set up on the website where you can go and get one. But please don't moan afterwards that people like the exhibitors at the show did not recognize your face from YouTube uh, and want to give you three free things because <laughs> you're wearing a blue pass or a pink pass or whatever, because. Well, if you're going to complain about that, then be professional and bring business cards. 
Yeah, or just like you or know, get your, like or get your logo or your fucking flat back. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or get a camera on the front and a camera on the back. <laughs> Let everyone <laughs> know that you're a fucking YouTuber. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, you know, that, that that did make me laugh. At, if you walk in the event, there's an info desk called you know the the info desk for the show. If you have any questions, if you're a reviewer and you, you want any any sort of you know thing or different color pass i will happily give you a different color pass or i'll just write reviewer on your forehead in a sharpie or something Wicked. What else? <laughs> what else? Yeah, jay's well excited about that Everyone um, is welcome. you're gonna have to get charlotte a, a pink pass dude just just one one pass it has to be pink that's it all the other ones pink have to one. be another color i'll bring her a pink sharpie how about a that one of one okay <laughs> cool that's it man one of um, one yeah also we we might uh well the plans are we are going to be having a trick competition this year as well now this is in the works in its early stages of it um this is something that we're looking to do where we have um any of you trickers out there um if you're interested we should be having a trick booth somewhere at the show and it might be my main stage um for those of you that are inclined to be blowing smoke in particular shapes out of your mouths um, right, we'll, smoke. we should <laughs> yeah whatever man um, <laughs> then we'll have a trick booth um and we will be do running a competition where people can vote for trickers leading up to the event to narrow it down to a few that we will inv invite to the show and people can cast votes at the show to win a prize this is just early days of it, so there will be more details on that. But any trickers that are interested in it, um, please feel free to reach out to me again uh, personally, um, and I, I'll give you more info, or we will announce it later um, uh, during the event. I'm hoping to have, again, <laughs> Ashley from Strawberry Queen there, um, one of our faves. Um, she, I think I talked to her the other week, but she was driving through the mountains, so I'm not sure. We got cut off, but um, strawberry cream. <laughs> that again. was just an excuse, dude. She she just hung <laughs> up on you. <laughs> well, she called me Vinny. It's not like Pandora. <laughs> Pandora blue called you. She, she, she meant you to know call what? someone else so called Tom, and then she realised it was you. It was like, ah, oh, fuck. I'm going for the mountains, mate. Need to back to clean now, then, Vinny. <laughs> Vinny, don't forget. Don't forget, I can Photoshop as well, bro. So <laughs> we've had a question oh, or, or, a, or a request from. Um, from Ombavu, uh, um, who said, uh, I want to learn to vape where to buy my uh, first best vape for forty dollars. Well, well, forty dollars. I mean, you, you got a little bit of wiggle room for your first best vape. Um, but I'm assuming if it's dollars, are we talking US? We, we should we should hand this over to Nick, he's probably the best person for this. Um, system, like you said, you have a lot of wiggle room there. There's a lot of systems you can get, like the the Mi Pod, the Aspire Breeze, like Dave Ferrante said. Um, you could do like the Joytech AIO. How much is the Penguin? Is that over it's forty? Like Seventeen ninety nine. Penguin used yeah. to be about ten p, mate. But <laughs> I mean, uh, I heard it was good. Um, do we have any? Uh, can we just confirm? Is this uh, U.S. dollars, or are we talking? somewhere else yeah. in the world that has dollars this is this is dollars uh, i'm gonna imagine that it is probably the okay US. maybe we can drop some links in for some starter kits yeah, no so problem. that he knows um but Vinny, yeah. Vinny, you're gonna download the smoke finder app oh wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, what ifs? i'm sorry wait what oh, okay. <laughs> he's 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 our guest. Guest. Jay. He is our guest. Be light, you <laughs> bastards. <He's a> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh you guys <laughs> Ah, uh, damn it. Someone also said that I look like Samuel Tarley. Oh, he totally does, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like thinking him, him, but hold the like door. Birds, no, I'm joking. not Ravens, so. <laughs> yeah, he actually owns Lovebirds. Who does that? Who does that? And I tell you what, they're, they are the most unromantic fucking things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> they just constantly make noise. I'm kind nice. of like being in love, I guess, sort of once you get to a certain point, it's just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't get jealous, guys, but my dad just bought me some favorite chickens. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, so what about your crepes, bruv? <laughs> oh, and also and also a Foster's, so that's nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Chicken and beer, really? Oh, Chicken and beer. Chicken and beer. What are you, American? Uh, American like Waffle House. 
Fucking love heart, yeah, I need some waffles. Um, to be honest, I mean, just just I didn't actually listen to any of you guys talking because I was getting my favorite chicken at, wow. all, in the wow. at all in the show. Well, um, so yeah, yeah, basically, I've just been playing a game. Get muted, Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. Fuck you, man. No, I just wanted to say if you've got if you want to get a first time vape, dude, just get get a pod system. It's so fail safe. It really is. Um, make sure I, you pick up that yeah. eighteen milligram gas station juice, like Vinny loves. Oh, right there, Nicholas. Right there. <laughs> cost you seven and a half quid. They pulled your pants right down, mate. Yes, but I wanted juice, okay? <laughs> and vape touch, companies man. only send me three milligram juices. So oh, no, he's from he's from the Netherlands. He meant euros. Oh, euros. Oh, euros. Okay. okay. So okay. I mean, if there's companies that ship abroad from the UK. I know for sure um, that the Aspire Pocket X was uh, what we used as our starter kits last year, and yeah, they good. seem to get really good reviews. Everyone was really happy with them. I don't know what you guys think, but if you can, if we can Aspire get Aspire Pocket X is a, is a good one. I've just done a review for the Gem slash Gobi from Inokin. If you want to check yeah. that out, that's actually a really good, a really good starter kit. In all fairness to it, very very good. Okay, because cool. Of, because of the London vape show, and it's cheap, I, and it's I cheap as well. So many Pocket Xs. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, the shop goes through fucking loads of them. <laughs> Katriana Whitlock wants to know why Tom's friend looks so familiar. I think we might have covered this already. He, though. <laughs> yeah, he looks like Sam or Tali from Door. Oh no, not Old Door. Sorry, mate. <laughs> 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 I think mean, Jake needs to be muted now. <laughs> oh, I'll save you lot. Cool. People tell me I look like fucking Adam Sandler, and I'm like, but he's not attractive, he's just funny. And then they're like, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> guy walks into a bar. Do you know what? I, I, I get this. I, I never I got this, and then I stopped getting it for ages. And now Todd and yeah, Dean, get, the, the doctor will clear uh, right up, dude. Just the, take a the, pill. The, the biker, they all say I look like a Russell Brand, but I don't really see it. Mm. I get it a lot. I think it's because of my my like yeah. my tasked oh, away yeah. like darker. Like it, it's yeah. the guy liner that does it. You're like an overly camp Russell Brand. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Tom. Tom. Yeah. with GBS. Yeah. GBS. Ginger beard syndrome. Oh, ginger beard syndrome. Yeah, I know. Someone commented in the restaurant yesterday and go, God, your your beard's red, isn't it? As as I'm walking through while I'm working, I'm like, huh, yeah, it is. Shave, shave. Well, Russell Brand is cool. Said, yeah, look at me nuts as well. <laughs> Russell Brand is a West Ham fan. I've actually seen him at some of the games, uh, so he gets a pass on things. Charlotte, oh, you are still not servicing my needs. No. Um, well, I'll save it for the I'll, after show. Hit, hit me up with your details, show. and I'll get them passed on to the relevant departments. Jay, I want to give, give a shout out as well, real quick. Let's give a shout out to Steve Nichols. Congrats on opening uh, your new vape shop down I believe, in Hornchurch. Down That's five, five ten instance. minutes down the road from me. Five, ten minutes down the road. If you ain't going to buy juice off Jay, <laughs> buy it off Steve Nichols. Good um, Jay, Jay whose who's shop's better, yours or his? Oh, I know. You can't say shit like that. <laughs> no. what, what, what we do, yeah, in the industry, we work together. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know... If if I haven't got something that another shop here has, I would point them in that right direction. Yeah, and um, I know that Steve uh, Steve Nichols guys get um, subscribing to all his reviews. He needs twenty five more subscribers to reach a hundred. Get subscribing. Yeah. What what is it? Say <laughs> it again. Roy's, Roy's reviews. reviews. Roy, Roy's reviews. And all right. Really, it looks like you've polled as well. Hmm? It looks like you've polled as well. James Voldemort. Vinny looks handsome. Oh, there you go. Ooh. You've got fans, Vinny. Jeez. There you go. That's the overly camp coming in. I, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all of the Vape Finder reviewers that are a part of a shop now. We have uh, Steve Nichols opening up his new yep. shop. We have uh, Jay managing a shop now. They're barking Vape and Juice. Yeah. We have yeah. Uh, Chris, obviously, Chris with Empire. Empire. Who actually also was third best shop in the country recently on the EC Click Awards. Congrats. There you yeah. go. Congrats, Chris. He's currently drinking a beer and laughing at us. But um, yeah. we have uh, uh, Vaping Paganophile, Poggy. He has a shop of his own now in rugby. Uh, I just was supposed to see him today. I've been down there a couple of times, and his shop is dope. Like, he's really good. He's working his ass off as well, guys. So if you're in the rugby area... Please go drop by and see Poggy, a.k.a. Peter Milner. Um, he's doing a fantastic job down there. 
And make sure you give him a Kinder Egg from me. <laughs> give him a Kinder Egg. He, yeah. he loved it. We did a live unboxing. <laughs> awesome. Brilliant. He's a good guy. Very good guy. He's actually up in uh, traveling back from Blackpool right now. Um, so, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> what? what the fuck? <laughs> Mr. Prost goes, what is a tickly kiss? Well, because with your ginger beard, you know? Oh, okay. okay. Ah. Oh, I thought it was when you like... Ah, <laughs> dip, dip, not that. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was I, was that. I started reading it and I just, it just made me laugh. I think I've never heard that before. Don't Please. Google oh, it. Oh, 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 come here, you give me a tickly out. kiss. I want to shout out to um, Vape City Reviews. He has been smashing it in the subscriber count. Honestly, he's he's gained like 200 subscribers in such a short space of time. He broke through the 1,000 milestone subscriber mark, which is incredible. And he does really good reviews. And he actually come fifth in the uh, oh, what was that? Um, e Sig Click Awards. Um, so so massive shout out to Vape City Reviews. He's a really nice guy, and he knows his stuff as well. So go check him out as well, guys. Yeah, we had uh, three Vape Finder reviews and Easy Click Awards. <laughs> Don't act like I didn't know. We had <laughs> Vinny Sir Vaping a lot. He was nominated. We also who had, come last? Um, <laughs> <laughs> who got nominated, bro? Vinny, you came you came last in in a, a, a thing that was you had to be nominated for. You know, no, I, so, I, I wish I knew who nominated me. So I um, it was even me. making the even making the list is 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 uh, a feat and that's dope. Um, and uh, we had uh, Vinny so vaping a lot, um, who always needs a sub. Uh, no, just kidding. Uh, we also <laughs> yeah, have. I'm a, uh, I'm a YouTuber. That's <laughs> what we all do need. I know. I'm taking the piss, bro. Um, but we also had uh, my boy, the Devil Vapor. He uh, he was in there, and also uh, good old Chris um, at Empire Vape Co. So. Um, everybody needs to. If you're not, if you're not subscribed to all these guys, then you're a you're a waste of space. Get off. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's me. I'm out of here. See you later, guys. <laughs> you're not subscribed to everyone. Jesus. I set up new YouTube channels just to go subscribe to you guys all the time. <laughs> oh, so that's where my numbers are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Got a massive boost. Uh, so. <laughs> All right, we're hovering right around 100 viewers. If we get over 100 viewers, I think we should do like one quick giveaway because we didn't yeah. come close to 200 tonight. I guess I set the bar a little bit high, but I think yeah. we could do one giveaway uh, for 100 viewers here. We got 100 people watching. What do you think, Tom? Yeah, definitely, man. Um, we've got free tickets to London Vape Show on offer. We've got Vape Finder t-shirts. Um, and we also have Bear Flavors Juice. Um, so if you're, you know, whenever you're ready, um, how many winners do you need, Nick? Well, that's that's what I was going to say. I'm, I'm going to do one giveaway. We should do one giveaway. And uh, what do you think? We should let them pick their prize? Um, it's up to you. Fucking really. out on a Lamborghini. Should we, talked, should we have talked to this about this earlier? But um, look, listen, I've got a, um, a line of our short fill range. Um, so, let me get the plugs in here. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. We've got a line of our short fills. Uh, this is bear flavors. Um, so we've got our grizzly bear, we have our polar bear, our koala bear, What's our the sun one bear. With cinnamon? Is that the That's one with the cinnamon? Grizzly. And then we oh. have the panda, which is the most popular, our panda bear. So we've got a line of those that I will be able to give away. Okay. We also have all of those flavors in a 40 mil, uh, four times 10 mil TPD range that I will give away. Um, I have big find of teas um, in XL or double XL. And to get to London Vape Show for whoever, pair of tickets. So, all I'm right, friend. that's basically our prizes. And we're gonna pick one winner right now. And that winner is going to get to pick what they want okay all right so i'm just going to put it in chat right now are you guys ready Let's see if this thing works i hope it does and bing pro skill wow well done pro skills pro skill is our winner Save for a second tell me what they pick. he he knows nothing john snow <laughs> <laughs> fucking winter's going Winter's winter's gone. 
Yeah, so uh, so pro skills. He's a winner. Congratulations. He's got some clapping sound effects. We've got some clapping sound effects. I wish we had a soundboard. Just yeah, like <laughs> we need to fucking get one. I'm telling you now. Wait, hang on. Let me see if I can find some. Uh, let me see if I can find some clapping noises. Wait, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. I feel like this is taking too long already. <laughs> You're Just do me a favor now. now. Nick. Yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. Don't worry. Okay. okay. Where am I getting the echo from? These fucking headphones give me echo. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like a waterfall. It, yeah, it did. Yeah. I'm oh, right. oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, what? what's uh, pro skills? What have you picked? What's your pick? Yeah. I mean, I, if he wants to like PM someone about it, then that's cool too. If he doesn't want to like, I, I like the clap claps in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, <laughs> yeah. If you, if you don't want to say, uh, Oh, he, he doesn't what two giveaways. Two giveaways one week? What? Oh, he's won two giveaways this week. Wow. Yeah. Won something cool for me as well. You know, they say participation. You've got to be in it to win it. What's he picked? What's he picked? Oh, <laughs> he forgot the options. He forgot the options. Okay, <laughs> we have a line of art. Uh, sorry, <laughs> not that a sort of line, line right? Four by ten mil <laughs> TPDs. Yep, got a line of our uh, short fills. Uh, we have vape finder t-shirt and hat, just for one person. Vape finder t-shirt and hat, or. Two tickets to the London Vape Show, which will retail at, I believe, £15. There we go. There you go. Um, but, yeah. Uh, oh, so edit, edit put winner, winner, chicken dinner. I believe... Uh, I believe also have a chicken dinner. Maybe that, that's for you. That's, yeah, uh, that's for you, Vinny. Vinny's got the chicken, got dinner. The chicken dinner. I was actually... Yeah, while you guys were talking, I was actually gnawing down on one of them chicken legs because I could yeah, just smell them. And, I, and I couldn't stop. I couldn't wait. It was so nice. <laughs> I know you put it down. I was going to get him to present you, and um, and I was I think I was enjoying it a bit too much. I was like, I think I was hoping I wasn't making any noise. You know, you can always mute yourself. Price okay, skills still go with the liquid, please. <laughs> Which one? Oh. Pro he'll skills, go he'll go with the liquid, please. The liquid. Okay. Does he want the TPD range or does he want the short fill range? Whichever one you want to get rid of, mate, is free. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's a, better because I like, you know, I like it already done. That Nick's already there. Pre that Nick is there. Yeah. Pre steeped, pre ready to go. Pre steeped, all ready to go for you. Pro, uh, you say short fill or ten mil? Okay. Well, it's four. It will be forty mil. So okay. All right. I'll surprise you. Cool. <laughs> Surprises him. Um, should Surprise. he email his details or? Yep. Yeah. If you want to send um, those details across uh, to... If, if, yeah, if you can send them to... Uh, if you can go follow, and I mean, I think if we can get people to follow Vape Finder and Air Flavors, F-L-A-V-O-R-S, on Instagram, and you either messages on the Vape Finder Instagram or the Bear Flavors Instagram. Josh, Yo. type them in, put them in, link it yeah. all up. Follow at Vape Finder or follow at their flavors um on instagram please send us a message and our lovely associate abby abby lucas what's her instagram handle rose vapes just rose vapes any underscores uh, our lovely assistant abby lucas uh aka rose vapes who you can also go follow um will get those sent out to you oh it's r zero s e V A P E S. That's that's Abby's. Oh, wow! Mm. Oh yeah. wow! <laughs> oh wow! Oh, Sorry, crust. I was missing the impersonations there. Sorry. Hello there, Brian. <laughs> yeah, we, we did, um, asked this question earlier. Is that Sorry. just come up? Mr. Pro Skills chose the TPD ones. Okay, yeah, perfect. Cool. cool. You're my I man. Believe, I believe so. Can um, anyone just you did say that? I, yeah. I like the I like the TPD range. Basically, the the TPD range will come like that. So it is in a large chubby bottle. It will have four of your ten mils in there, and they will be all ready to go. I prefer them personally, but if you guys want to have your own, you know, nicks that you want to add to your short fills, by all means, do that. 
Um, I also use these chubby bottles as well. I don't know about you guys, but I always put a little set of like pinches in there with some scissors and a bit of wick. So when I go on a night out, take a couple of 10 mils with me, and then I've got a little core bill kit in my pocket. Just in that. That's but, actually a really good idea. Yeah. <laughs> what I did. Nick's like, damn it, why have I never thought of yeah. this before? Well, because um, I don't have to deal with that because I can have 120 mil bottles. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to say, though, with the short the mil bottles, when you're filling up something like the Kalito or a smock tank or something like that, the 10 mil bottles fit in so well. That little pipette fits in so well. Yeah, so it's fresh. Yeah. Um, I want to address, um, again, I believe uh, Kimdred91 has just said that somebody has again asked about wheelchair access at London Vape Show. There will be wheelchair and disabled access um, at London Vape Show. Um, there is a lift just on the right as you go in. There is a ramp into the venue. Um, that won't be a problem for anyone who wants to visit. Please don't let that discourage you um conway valley vapors i have actually got a sponsorship for my new live show that i do on a monday night but it's not by jcb sadly enough it's uh max bg e-liquids i'm sponsored by them so we're doing giveaways awesome. on that tomorrow night awesome good for you conway can't wait to right love a bit of that so that is it for this show we will be um, doing an after boring. show um yeah, Chris is home now, so he's going to be on the after show. Tom, are you going to join us for the after show for a little bit? Yeah, I can join you on the after show for a little bit. No okay. worries. Um, just send me the link, man. I'm new to this. I believe the after show is going to be on the Empire Vape Co page. Is that... Oh, is he? Is Chris back? Is he watching? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, Chris. You're right, Chris. You're right, Chris. How's it going? You're right, Chris. <laughs> you know, what's happened yesterday with West Brom, you bastards? Uh-oh. <laughs> John Deere sponsorship. <laughs> um, i just like to say as well before we end the show like i will hopefully um if you guys are okay to have me again i will definitely come on um in the months leading up to the show if you'd like don't to push it mate we'll talk more <laughs> about <stuff. laughs> um, jay just got uninvited <laughs> we, yeah jay's not invited in fact i'm t uh, can you make me a thumbnail please nick because i'll take his place um, anytime you want, you guys let me know. I'll be on here if you guys want to ask anything about the show. I want to let you guys know all these guys will be at the London Vape Show if you would like to come down and meet them. Um, I'm definitely going to be having Nick back over again all the way from the US, which is always good to see him. Uh, I will be asking him to bring some of that blaz so I can uh, try that. So, um, and we uh yeah we'll be we'll be hanging out we'll be there over the weekend we're also there is plans to have a big airbnb for all of the reviewers so that we can all get oh them. my god so messy yeah, oh, so considering I'm, i've just been uninvited i'm getting you guys a, i'm gonna try and get an airbnb big enough for all of the reviewers so that you guys can go crazy if you guys Nick, want to you want the show, can only say, tom, all i can say tom is i hope you got good insurance for that date yeah, I'm going to see if I can put it on someone else's credit card. Maybe I'll ask my girlfriend too if she says. Uh, Beer pong and farts. Nick, <laughs> you, can only, you can only put him, his image on the thumbnail if it's Adam Sanders, the water boy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Oh, my water God. Water boy, water boy. Yeah, big uh, up, everyone. Right, I guess that means we're going around the room here to do our little goodbyes. So is Vinny done eating yet? Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Man, I was just having one little chicken wing. Chicken <laughs> no, 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 I know, Ben. Until Andy wing. said that there's a one legged chicken walking around, and that made me feel bad. So now I'm vegan, so I'm just going to eat the chips. Um, well, guys, thank you so much for coming on. And chat was, was great tonight. Thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the show. Tom, it was a pleasure having you on, dude. Um, really nice to, to speak to you again. Um, and yeah, thank you, Nick, for hosting it. That's really great. Sweet. Sweet. And Mike, <laughs> sweet. Uh, thanks everyone for watching again, and thanks Nick for having it on your channel again and again. Thank you, Tom and Josh, for coming on. There we go. Keep it simple. Jay, what's up, guys? <laughs> How we doing? I'm feeling a lot better now. Like I said, these guys, like I've just been looking forward to this this week. Like I was so down in the dumps and ill and couldn't make work and it's not such a bad thing but when you're ill and can't make work it is a bad thing anyway thanks nick for having us on your channel again and yes special thanks to the special guests nick and josh always lovely to see you guys wait me uh, who? tom uh, tom that's what i said 
Oh, yeah. You actually said Nick. Tom and Josh, <laughs> did I? Oh, no. All right, then. I meant Nick before. Tom and Josh, thank you very much, guys. The Vape Finder. If you guys haven't done it, download it. You've got to download the Vape Finder app. It's a Link must. is in the description. There you go. Someone's going to post it in there. But, yeah, thanks for having us on. Thanks for the show. It's been a great show. Nice one. See you on the after show. Right. Speaking of the after show, it uh, looks like it's going to be on Chris's channel. Uh, so head on over to Empire Vape Co. And we'll be on there in a couple of minutes, probably about 15, 20 minutes or so. So Vinny can finish up eating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I actually sure don't need to go and take a leak, to be honest. That's what I really need to do. Thanks. That's a little bit of an overshare, but all right. Um, <laughs> We're all friends here, guys. Thank you so much, Tom, for coming on, and Josh, of course. Uh, it was an absolute pleasure, and we will absolutely be having you on again. We want to have you on, like, more often. I can't believe it took us 18 episodes to get this far. I know. And whenever you want. It's yeah. all good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, with that being said, thank you, everyone, in chat for joining us. Don't forget to, uh, you know, join us on the after show. Hit that like button on your way out the door. And uh, we'll see you in a few minutes over there on Chris's channel. So we'll be live on Chris's channel at half nine. All right. Perfect. See you guys later. Bye. Take it easy, guys. Bye. Peace, Peace out. Vape safe. Peace.